If you guys don't know what War Sim is, think about it sort of like... Think about it... Oh, I howl. Killer Crocomire with the 5,000 bits as well. I blame you as well. Uh, thanks, Killer Crocomire, for the 5,000 bits. This game is an ASCII. But it's got some it's got some art, it's got some things going on, it's got some animations. But it's basically a goofier version of kingdom management than any other game out there. It's very goofy. It's got a lot of cool stuff going for it. You guys are gonna like it, I know. ASCII? S Key. Any other questions? That's a face? Yeah, that's what a face looks like in the ASCII world. Start a new game. Here you decide what your world will look like. This choice completely shapes the game, so choose wisely. Random races, we can pull from a list of 94,887,852 races to create a unique world. Selecting races would uh, fry my hard drive because it would have to load 94,887,852 lines of text so that's not happening uh i think we just do random i think we just do random and sort of like we know goblins will be in there all right goblins are always in there okay i don't know how but goblins are only one in 94 million different things in there and they're always in there <laughs> i don't know how goblins are always pushed in are you sure oh i'm sure they're always Always in there. Do you want to leave the races that fill your world completely up to fate, or would you like the chance to select another random lot until you find one you're happy with? Allow me to re-roll them. Okay. Just in case I don't see any goblins. Because I need to have goblins so I can ban goblins, or else everyone's just gonna wonder what the hell goblins are when I get to like that part of the game. Choose how long you wish your game to run for. Anything other than the no time limit gives you a score when the time runs out. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Forever. The infinite. Ruling. Ruling forever. Until the end of days. Theme music. Calm music. What does calm music sound like? I don't even hear it. Classic theme? Uh, 8 bit theme. No, that sounds like I'm. That sounds like I'm cool. Menu music? No, it's like droning calm music. It's very quiet, huh? This is calm. It's very quiet, but I think it's the best one. I can just turn up the game. I like it so, well, I mean, chat, here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing, is that we're doing no music. Because we're doing the RuneScape soundtrack in the background. Okay. And we always were. <laughs> <laughs> okay we were always doing it it was always gonna happen from the very beginning the background was gonna be runescape soundtrack oh yes oh yeah it's time to create our kingdom hang on it says it and I want to make sure it actually accepts no music. Well, we'll just keep it on. I said it, it's set to no music. But, uh, whatever. Here you choose if, you're, if you will be known as a king, queen, or something else. Custom. Stinky boy. Alright, that'll be my... That'll be... My title. Alright. That will be my title in this world. That's, that's the highest honor someone can be given, is Stinky Boy. They'll know who it is. Please know. 
Yes, lock it in. And to preferred word for encounters where you'd formerly be referred to as a lord. Lord, lady, lady. Very good. This will also be used for my lord, my lady. So make sure... Uh... Uh, stinky. My stinky. My stinky. Very good. Enter the preferred for encounters where you formerly referred to as Mr. Uh. Uh, this one's getting more complicated now. Hang on. Uh. Mm, stinky. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to make your own name, or do you have want one randomly generated? Make my own name. Enter my name. Uh, it's gotta be. It's gotta be tomato. But with a smile, and the nose. Would you like to make your own kingdom name, or have one randomly generated? Uh, all right. Let's make a kingdom name. Uh, mm. Oh, mm. Stink Tom Shitsville. I'm not. I, I, I sort of feel like I should just let it be random. Like, the, 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 the smell thing can be its own thing. The dumpster. <laughs> it's just the dump. Alright. Alright, so difficulty. Casual is going to be hard to lose. Easy, start off with lots of land, troops and gold. Normal, we're gonna do hard. Difficulty, strapped for resources. We won't have many resources, we'll have to sort of be careful what we do. Uh, we're not gonna do solid, because one land is very difficult to defend, and you can just, your character's defensive, the defensive capabilities in this game are very shitty, or just terrible. You lose, like, you lose your one piece of land, you instantly lose the game. So, that, that's not happening. You are the ruler of the kingdom of the dump. <laughs> Once a mighty and powerful kingdom fighting against the great bandit horde of Feanor the Overlord, the world is vast and complex. There is much to see and do and little time to waste. From the fabled ancient lands of the blood-soaked arena, these lands call to be united under the flag of the dump. Okay. Goblin tribes. Did you see that? Goblins exist. I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. You are brought a list of races and peoples that exist in the world. They are the Everlasting Di Day Dynasty led by Pharaoh Galay, the Profound. A thousand and eighty-eight people, blah, blah, blah. Six lands. Civilization of the Soul Eater Dryads. The Gurnak. Led by Mormer Stras the Sullied. 12,000 goblins. Uh. Star goblins. Goblins from fucking space! Fuck! They're probably incredibly powerful. The Grey Orcs Hermitage, led by Chief Hermit Gorthulmogi, Heart Thief. The Oaken Hermitage, led by Chief Hermit Znooks, the Tenderizer. Tattooed hobgoblins. <laughs> the cognate of the Tundra Orklings led by Kagan Gulagabash, the gambling man. Two lands. Mm. I see. Okay, I accept these races. If I was a liar, I don't want to go to Star Goblin. Look how many Star Goblins there are. Reset. Reset. Show me more options. I want some goblins, not all goblins. Uh, the community of the Grim Minotaurs, led by Master Terox the Fainter. He sounds very weak. The clan lands of the Behemoth Minotaurs, led by Great Chief Honzak the Hesitant. There's 80 of them. The Colmorn, led by King Hammond, the Bloody Dervish. Whoa, Happy Martin with the hundred. Fucking gifted subs, Martin. Jesus Christ. Thanks. Thanks. Fucking hell, that's a lot of fucking subs. 
Bro, thanks for all the support, man. You really, you really watch it out for me. I appreciate it. I really do, man. You're a good guy. <coughs> thanks. Thank you very much. The Kalmon, led by King Hammond, the Bloody Dervish. Rusag's Domain, led by Master Verfus, the Champion of Ash. More stout Minotaurs. And then the Gren, led by King Nethalos, Lightseeker. Civilization of the Pygmy Stone Elders. Next! 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 The Mystic Tribe, Furious Fungus Folk. I like that a lot. The Reigning Tribe of the Inbred Snotlings. Or probably goblins. Looking at their po- Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Those are goblins. There's 22,000 of them. Those are goblins. <laughs> they can change their name all they want. Those are goblins. <laughs> Those are inbred snotling goblins. Right there. Snotlings are weaker goblins. The grow gods. Tattooed Elderborn, uh, led by the Chosen One. Stupid Storm Lava Mancer. Do we want, do we want inbred snotlings? No, I need something that says goblins. Hang on, we keep, we keep going. I think we keep going. Chat, this is like on, this is on lap two where I'm getting like super snotling. Like imagine how much more we can find in here, you know? We could find far worse than this. I think we keep rolling the dice till we find something we're happy with. Next! Was that just a... The hell? The... Led by King Beth. Labrador men. Salt elders. Fire lava magogs. Next! The, la the dread land led by Captain... Paci Pacifist Void Gorman. Deformed elders, southwestern zombies, the in the imbrood community, uh, King Smog the Stirring. I see no goblins in here. Next, <laughs> toothy druids, gorge half moles. We may never see other goblins again. I gotta keep going till I see. I miss star goblins. We should have. We should have brought back star goblins. Mm. Magic goblins. The Magic Goblins Principality, led by Principal Sudaz Al Golzer. The Forsaken Retinue, led by King Wiglin Flamefoot. The Twice Great Tribe, led by King High Muckamuck. Supernatural Zombies, Aquatic Scions, Magic Goblins, Resurrected Godlings, and Infernal Homunculi. I feel like I'm out of my depth going against this these guys. Because these are like all other civilizations in my zone. I feel like I am going to be outmatched by them. Battle of the Gods. Do it. Don't worry, chat. There's still independent lords, which is like where the goblins will be. The other goblins. There's always more goblins. Okay? It's just that sometimes there are goblins that are like actually civilized and know what they're doing. The world is full of mystery and wonder. There are many peoples in this world. They are men, resurrected goblins. Sorry, godlings, magic goblins, aquatic scions, infernal homunculi, supernatural zombies, goblins, and demons. The adults of history remember well your rise to the throne. How did it happen? It's a long story. You grew up in a farmstead near a small town in the dump. Raised by your mother, life was simple but harsh. Your prized possession was a tome read to you when you were young. The crown of mine. The book was centered around an ancient law claiming that there was an ancient and mythical crown of the land lost in a faraway eastern kingdom. They who found the crown would be declared ruler. Many searched for it, but none succeeded, and over time the tales fell to obscurity. As you grew up, you worked in guilds and on farms around the realm, doing odd jobs and making a living, but you found yourself wanting more. 
Your dreams were of the mythical crown to the east. For a time, you tried not to think about it, but you could not. It consumed your thoughts and was always on your mind. One day, you sold all of your things and paid for boat passage to sail across the eastern sea towards the foreign land. The journey took two months across the wide open sea until you arrived in a land mired by humid jungle and tall mountains. You spent many weeks exploring the towns and cities of the land and met many friends, namely an eastern warrior named Omer, who saved you many a time from seedy merchants and hostile foreign warriors. Fortune was not on your side, and after your weeks of exploration, you fell sick while in a small town at the foot of a great mountain. Here, in your sickness, the dreams got stronger, and the crown whispering to you. You sat sickly near a palm tree observing the great mountain one morn, when a local well-versed in your tongue stopped to talk and said, You have the look of many a traveler who visits the mountain of Mai. You should not climb it. The mountain punishes those who try to pass. You could not believe it. The mountain of Mai, as the books had foretold. That night you hatched a plan to traverse the mountain once the sickness wore off. You were low on gold and had only enough for a horse or a healer. You sat for a while staring at the mountain. And that night you brought the horse and rode for Mai. The mountain was large and treacherous. You left your horse halfway and began a climb in your sickness driven by pure willpower. Rocks that came loose in your climb fell for minutes before reaching the bottom, and many a time you almost fell. As you neared the top, you lost your grip and fell from a great height, landing on some tree branches and breaking them. Now bloodied and sick, you lay awaiting death and cursing yourself for this ill-fated journey when you spied a torch of flame illuminating the smallest cavern hidden in the ravine you had fallen into. You gathered your strength and curiously approached the cave to discover a crude rocky shrine. Resting atop was a crown, the ancient crown of Mai, and two skulls near it with jeweled eyes. You took the crown and the jeweled eyes, and with newfound sense of life and vigor, you climbed, crawled, and slipped your way down the mountain Finding your horse by pure luck, you rode back to the town and traded one of the four jeweled eyes for a small sum and enough gold to hire a ship back to the dump. You returned and once healed and in good health, you marched to the throne room during a pros procession of court and proclaimed to all your finding of the ancient crown of Mai. The old king and his council were in disbelief, but once they saw the crown, they knew the prophecy had been fulfilled and the, crown and the king surrendered his crown and abdicated. And that is how you became Stinky Boy of the Dump and got a lot of money. Bada bing, what an idiot. He fucking gave away his crown. Guys, if that was me, immediate execution on the spot if someone walked in and was like, I'm king now. And it could happen. I'm pretty sure it can literally happen. If someone else comes in, they say, I'm king now. And I will say, no, you're dead now. And then I'd have my guards kill them on the spot. Immediately executed without hesitation. You're invited to the crowning ceremony where you can learn of your newly inherited realm. Of course, you are the new ruler of this realm. And can also ignore it completely. I will go to the ceremony. That's like, that's like how it goes. All right, we should go to the ceremony. That would be the only thing that would happen in reality. Exactly. You enter your throne room for the first time as the ruler of the dump. Crowds of people gather to see their new stinky boy. <laughs> as you take a moment to observe the room, the high general of the dump approaches you. Well met to you, my stinky. I shall now crown you by right, the new stinky boy of the dump. You inherit the title after discovering the fabled crown of mine. This is General Cor Gorin Pikener. You are now Stinky Boy of the Dump. Long may you reign. Thank you. Thank you. I will now tell you of the state of the realm. This is important. The Dump holds three territories. It's not the most territory, but it could be worse. We shall have to be careful to protect ourselves. The kingdom's personal army consists of 300 peasant workers, 75 soldiers, and three loyal knights who serve your cause. Wait, that's it? That's all we've got? Wait, that's all we've got. That's all we've got. 
We're very small. Now that's all for military matters. For the realm's finances, the kingdom has a total of 2,250 gold in its coffers, which is insignificant, and also 2,400 additional gold in the bank. My stinky boy, now that you are crowned, you may speak to old Kroll if you wish for any tutoring on matters of the realm. If you are unsure of what to do, I would highly recommend it. Though, if you would like to discuss it later, you may do so by returning to the throne room. Skip it. I know how to fucking handle that stuff. Your diplomat nods and bows, saying, If you do require any tutoring, find me in the throne room and I can happily help. Well, chat, we're the king now. We have three lands. Our public opinion, though, is very high. Okay, because we are a guy who just came back with a sacred crown. Okay, that was easy. It was easy. So first thing we should do, obviously, is take a look around the throne room. You enter your little throne room and take your place on the little throne in the center. You feel the warmth of two fire scones behind you. Scones. Oh, scones. I could go for a scone. Oh, baby, I could go for a scone right about now. Mm, mm, mm. You mean sconces, Def? You mean sconces, Def? Cause I could go for a scone, but I think you mean sconces. No scones? Oh, okay, if we're talking about scones. Oh, baby, I could go for scones. Okay, well, uh, moving on. Uh, you are told that there is a little line of 20 people waiting to see you. Why does the game keep saying little? Why is this, why is this, is this like really that small that has to keep telling me how small this is? Oh, whatever. Let's, let's send some people in. It's my first day on the job. I gotta make sure that people like me. Send it to my next visitor. You are visited by an armed man who says he wishes to join the fight for you, but must pay off his small debts of 28 gold before he can join. So you're a debtor. So you're a debtor then. And you're trying to dodge your debt by coming into the dungeon with him. The armed man mutters, oh no, and he is taken away. The dungeon? You'll pay your debt to society in the dungeon. Oh, I should probably uh, decide, I should probably set my rules for who's allowed to see me. Current, you call forward a scribe to write down the rules on who you wish to set, on the rules you wish to set for guards currently uh, allowing people in. Right now, I'm allowing in criminal cases, begging, Jesters, entertainers, mercenaries, people looking for work, complaints, sellers and merchants, goblins, bards, and rabble. Sure. Even the goblins are allowed in. Even the goblins are allowed in, but only for a bit. Okay, we'll even let the goblins in. Next! You're visited by a cloaked figure who seems to have appeared before you unnoticed by your guards. He identifies himself as a member of the Shadow Assassins and offers his services to you for a price. What's your offer? He speaks. Name the kingdom and its ruler will be dead tomorrow. For a price, of course. Principal Sadaz Al Guzzler, uh, ruler of the magic goblins for 1200 gold, kill him. Kill him. You have placed a hit on Principal Sadaz Al Gulzer. Okay. The magic goblins are about to lose their king. Fuck you! Bada bingus! It's so easy! Fuck you! I'll see you all in hell! The money? It's worth it, chat. It's actually worth it. Next! You are visited by a man who demands a glorious death fighting for the dump. Allow him to enlist. Join me, soldier. Next! You are visited by a traveling bard. He asks to play a song on his vampiric lute. I'm pretty good at this, and I shall play you a short song. What's your name, vampiric looter? His name is Durdenguser. Listen to his song, but only after I know his origins. One of my ancestors used to use the lute to lure travelers to his keep where he would, you know... Make sure they were well-fed and accommodated for their journey through our lands. Oh. 
Oh, what, you thought You thought because I'm a vampire, everyone in my family tree is a blood-sucking murderer? For shame! Listen to his song. The bard nods and prepares to play for you. Uh, that sort of sucked, didn't it? <laughs> that, that was bad, man. That was a really bad fucking thing. He was offended. Get the get out, then. Get out. That sucked. Next, you're visited by a man he wishes to join in the army. Welcome. You visit by a bard laborer. Bald laborer, sorry, not bald, bard, bald laborer who claims one of your soldiers lost money to him in a bet and fled. He wants his due. Yeah, how about, how about you go to the dungeons, huh? How about you go to the dungeons? How about you do some time? How about you do some hard time, fucko, picking on my boys? Chat, come on, we gotta defend the boys, all right? How about we send this fucker to the dungeon? All right, where he belongs. The bald laborer shouts, No, I'm sorry, please don't do this! While getting carried off by your guards. He'll die in there! Next! You're visited by a man, he wishes to join the army. Oh, I'm in. Next! You're visited by a young boy who asks you for a single coin. You think we're a charity here? You think, you think we're a charity? You think that we just hand out money? Try wasting my time, Timmy, bro, <laughs> bro. I, I need the money, man. You can buy a new dance on Fortnite, man. I need the money right now, man. I can't keep doing this for you, man. Here, one coin. The young boy nods and smiles before running out of the court. If I ever see him again, he's dead. You're visited by a wise man who says he has some advice to share. Listen to the advice. Sending knights out to quest is a good idea. Some of them will return with great news and possible riches. The wise man awaits your reaction to his advice. That was a very good piece of advice. But you're backseating me, you see. You see. You see. You've backseated me. Knights! Slay him! The man yelps as he's cut down before you. Very good. Send in the next visitor. Bro! <laughs> so he did for my boy there. I saw you got some money. He gave you some. You gave him some money. I want some money now. You give one person money, chat. And they're all gonna want money. Look at this. Here, one coin. You're the best m -m -m stinky leader. And then leaves. Okay, cool. Send in the next one. You visit by an armed man who says he has visions of fighting on the battlefield for the dump. Allow him to join. Next! You visit by a hedge, mite. M hedge knight. My stinky boy. I seek a quest worthy of me. Imagine sending this guy to. Oh, do we have a lot of vampires, chat? Chat, I'm starting to realize. Are we like 90% vampires? Because <laughs> I've been looking at a lot of these guys' whole deals. It looks like a lot of them are vampires. <laughs> Is everyone vampires? We got a lot of vampires in our kingdom. Sure, allow him to quest. He's going off to quest. He says, I've done it before and I can do it again. I'll quest for you and bring you honor and glory like no other. Next! You are visited by a small goblin. He says nothing but the words, Gold Kite. Yeah, you're gonna make me six of them. The goblin kicks oh. one of your guards in the balls and dashes out the door, managing to escape. Goblin! Goblin! Son of a bitch! This is war. The magical goblins wants to put him up to this. Next! You are visited by the aquatic scion from the civil sultanate who seeks refuge with you after having been sentenced to death. Why were you sentenced to death? I think they were jealous of me. 
returned them to the Aquatic Scion. Well, Civil Sultanate. The Aquatic Scion is returned to his homeland and punished. The Civil Sultanate sends thanks. Next! You're visited by an armed man who says he will join you for a fee. Get the fuck out of here. I don't pay anyone to join me. You're visited by a man who says you are needed in a great debate. There are three men, each with a beard. They think is the most magnificent beard in the land. They need you to settle it. Look at the first beard. Okay, okay. The man steps forward with a beard that looks almost like a strange wine glass or torch. Thick at the top, and then ever thinner at the bottom, down to the middle of it is some kind of design made of knotted hair. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good beard. What's the next one? A very strange beard. It looks like a halfling's boots. The beard is parted down the center and grows wildly in both directions. Very good, very good. What's next? This beard is very interesting, made of five large braids, with the central one covered in jewels and bands. The braids are thick and made of lots of hair tied together. This one's like, this one's a little bit too gaudy, you know? I think it's got to go to number two here. Is what I would say if I wasn't sending all three of you to work in the dungeon. <laughs> number two is the best beard. Well, that settles it then. Thanks for your help. Four more people. God, look at the fucking line. You're visited by a young boy who asks you for a single gold. Bro! Bro, come on, man! I saw what you did for the other two. You gotta, you gotta hook me up. Wait, where are you going? Ah! Ah! Bro! Ah! The young boy laughs and smiles. It seems he thinks this is a game. Your guards hesitate for a moment and then take him to the dungeon. He thought it was a game. He thought we were fooling around. Rumors of your cruelty to children spread minus two public opinion. Chat! Hi, yes, this is a fucking throne room. Where are their parents? <laughs> that no one would ever do this in the real world. Dead. I don't fucking care. You're visited by a goblin who looks at you silently and hands you a gold coin. And you're about to make me another six gold coins! The goblin tries to run away, but is quickly grabbed and taken to the goblin slaver, who gives you a six gold fee. Excellent. Fucking goblins. It's a shame I couldn't have killed him. Stinky, stinky goblin. Holy shit, is Tomato the bad guy? No, 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 no. No, 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 I'm not a bad guy. You'll see that soon enough. You'll understand. You are visited by a novice explorer who offers to reveal to you a location in the south for a low fee of 693 gold. i force him to reveal the location to me. The explorer reveals the information and leaves the court in tears. He's crying. <laughs> <laughs> I like yelled at him. I like banged my fist really hard. You give me that! He gave it to me and then ran away crying. I'm gonna look at my crown now. Wait, there's one more lone visitor waiting to see me. You're visited by an armed man who says he's a lone mercenary and can be hired to join your army for eight gold. Uh, no. Ugh. That's not fair! He leaves. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. You approach and see the fabled lost crown of Mai. It looks just as it did when you discovered it in that cave all those years ago. Epic. All right. Well, we're done the throne room for today. How's my public opinion? 40. Very good. I think it's time to make some sweeping uh, changes, chat, to our kingdom's laws of the land. All right. A scribe is brought before you. He unravels a fresh scroll, eagerly awaiting your new laws and edicts. I would like you to navigate to the tax section of the scrolls, my scribe. The scribe pulls out a scroll of taxes and subsidies and prepares you to make amends to it. Gambling tax, banking tax, land tax, subsidize arena, higher betting max. Costs $1,000 per turn. Tax tax. More tax people's tax, more tax equals more tax tax. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Well, we don't have any income to generate 
money for most of these like ones that cost money to run the taxes. But tax tax is pretty good. Let's take a look at what else we got. Recruitment and training. Uh, your scribe pulls out the scroll of recruitment. Declare forceful enlistment. Gain lots of peasants each turn. Look, it's a draft. Okay, it's a draft. It's a draft. There is a draft, okay? We don't have a large community. There's a draft now. Okay, it's only minus one public opinion. We're forcing peasants to join. Okay, some soldiers was fine, whatever. I'd rather have many peasants joining, okay? They'll all be, they'll be trained into soldiers in time anyways, it's fine. Now, what about goblins here? Your scribe pulls out a scroll of goblin policies and prepares to make amendments to it. Goblin Scourge. Pay 10 gold bounty per goblin head. I don't have that kind of money to be paying 10 gold per goblin head. So that's something we'll do later. If it needs to happen. Mercenaries. Uh, we'll leave that the same for now. Mercenaries are fine. Social policies. Alms for the port. <laughs> Alms for the poor. <laughs> Giving money to the poor. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Over my dead body. Crime policy. The scribe pulls out a scroll of crime and prison policies. Close the prison? I don't think so. Declare max execution, mass ex execution law to keep the pos population low. Uh... Rehabilitation law. No, we're gonna put our prisoners to work, is what we're gonna do. Which we'll do in a second. Celebrations. Declare a new celebration. Uh, chat stinks day. Chat stinks day. The day where chat stinks. Every two years. What will happen during this? Sacrifices. People getting drunk. And parades. Okay. Every two years, that'll happen. People have to be reminded how much it stinks. Now, what do we have here? Evil policies. Your scribe pulls out a scroll of evil policies and prepares to make amendments to it. Declare pillaging. Your soldiers can rob peasants. You get a cut. And eh, declare a curfew. Declare a breathing tax. Extra money from people in general. Uh, declare a walking tax. That's pretty good too. Or declare the dump a slave kingdom and enslave all of the people. That's a curveball tactic we do when they all hate us too much, okay? Chat, that's how we win no matter what, okay? Is when everyone hates us, everyone realizes I'm s in fucking sane. Okay, that's the last thing we do. Is right before they all revolt, we say, Oh, you're all my- you're all slaves now. And then we just switch them all over to slaves. And then we make them slave soldiers, okay? And make them fight for us. Alright, that's how the game works. That's- that's later. That's later. Okay, so now that we've gone through that, let's arrange some diplomacy quick. I'd like to reach out to the Goblin Kingdom of Krut. And I'd like to look at King Ulak. The Goblin Kingdom has very few goblins. 375 goblins, in fact. King Ulak is the ruler of the Kingdom of Krut and is known to be a harsh ruler. He climbed to the ranks of the Krut fast after making a name for himself as a warlord and soon after making his way to the upper circle of tribal politics. He was their king. Since taking power, Ulak has begun, has grown the Krut from a small alliance of tribes to a fast-growing regional power. There's 300 of them, they're not that big. He's, considering a, he's considered a harsh ruler and is said to hide away in his tower, only entertaining close allies. I see. I see. They're too savage to have uh, relations with me. This is the goblin totem. The only good thing we can do with Krut and Iraq for that matter is, um, you know, help all our goblins to a hasty demise. All we can do really with these two goblin kingdoms is, um, take all their lands, add them to mine, 
and then tax them. <laughs> you know, that's just how it's going to be. Let's take a look at the independent territories. We've got the Forsaken Retinue, the Magic Goblins Principality. Let's reach out to the Magic Goblins. Is that their... Their flag is just blood. Their flag is just blood. I'd like to reach out to them. Trade and diplomacy. No, 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 that won't be necessary after all. He's gonna be, the king is gonna be dead in a minute anyways. We don't have a trade route, so there's no diplomacy we can really do. Let's talk to Bravis. You invite the local goblin slaver, Bravis the goblin slaver, into your throne room to discuss business. This guy's got a lot of goblins. Here's the thing though. I'm not down with the slaving deal. I'm not down with goblins in general. I feel like I should just kill him. He's like in my kingdom right now. I could just take his head off and then, you know, we just take care of all the goblins real quick. Let's just talk to him. Hang on. Let's see what his deal is. What you'd like to know, my stinky boy? Who are you? I am Bravis the Goblin Slaver, and I capture and sell goblins for profit. Well, wow, that was very summarized. That's good. My goblins are taller and able to work in the fields for you. I don't really need to... I'm not really here to buy goblins, okay? I don't really want any goblins. <laughs> I'm actually going to leave. Let's go to the Grand Arena. The Arena. One of the core parts of your society here. Warriors battle and locals pay to watch. The Arena is owned by a local business person named Cedrin Redfist. The entry fee to watch a fight is 20 gold. Bet on a fight. Who would you like to bet on? Bandit Warlord or Blessed Magic Goblin Warlord. The Bandit. Ten dollars. The gates slide open, and one of the fighters quickly dashes out towards the other, ready to spill some blood. The crowd are ecstatic, and the cheers and roars of the crowd echo for miles around. Oh, oops. I had auto-fighting on still. Yeah, the goblin, the goblin won. The goblin, uh, strikes the warlord on the head and fucking knocked his skull off. Make sure I set to watch play-by-play -play from now on. There we go. Now I'll be able to watch the whole fight one by one. Bet on a fight. Again. And now that we know... Supernatural zombie warrior or Kroot goblin warlord. Hate to break it to you, but there's no way the Kroot's gonna win. Uh, I'm gonna bet a hundred bucks on that. I know that for a fact the Kroot's not gonna win. The gates open. The crowd roars. The supernatural zombie warrior kicks the Kroot goblin warlord over. He then swings but misses wide. The crowd cheers loudly for Kroot goblin. The goblin and the warlord... The zombie warrior get caught in a parry that breaks almost instantly. The Kroot Goblin Warlord and the Supernatural Zombie Warrior get caught in a parry. The Kroot Goblin Warlord manages to break the parry and get a good hit. The zombie warrior blocks a swift blow from the Kroot Goblin Warlord. He then strikes the Goblin Warlord on the head with great force. It's over. He's dead. What? What? Kroot Goblin Warlord kicks the zombie down. He's kicking him. He blocks a swift strike. The zombie then kicks the Goblin down. The zombie then gets another parry, but they break it almost instantly. He gets a good hit on the zombie. Wow, this fight's going on for a fucking while. It's almost like it's a zombie or something. The goblin warlord and the zombie get caught in another parry. The zombie kicks the goblin down. The goblin cracks the zombie on the head, but the zombie's still alive. He hits the goblin on the head with great force. The goblin then kicks the zombie back down again. The crowd's cheering. They're going crazy. The zombie warrior and the and the goblin get into another parry, but the zombie breaks the parry and gets in a good hit. The goblin then briefly slips, and that's all it takes. The supernatural zombie warrior stabs him to death. Hundred and fifty dollars, baby. Never stood a chance. Never stood a chance. I'd like to talk to the grand champion. Conan, son of Urgrimmar. Okay, we gotta make the, we gotta we gotta get this guy on our side. That's Conan right there. That's actually fucking Conan. You tell me that's Conan. You tell me you got Conan. Bet on the grand champion. Bet on the grand champion. Bet on Conan, son of Urgrimmar. Yep. Bet all of my money. All of it. All of it. Bet all of it. Everything's going in. He's gonna win. Immediately, all of it. Conan's gonna win like it's none. The crowd roars as the two fighters emerge from either end of the arena. 
The champ! Conan gets a good hit on Baron. The glass-clad commander. They're cheering for Baron. Conan then swings, but misses wide. He then swings again, but misses only slightly. The crowd's now cheering for Conan. He's going crazy. Uh-oh. Uh he cra someone... Uh, Baron cracks Conan on the head. They're, they're cheering for him. Conan kicks Baron backwards. He then gets a good hit on Baron. Baron and the son of Urgamar, Conan himself, get caught in a parry that breaks almost instantly. Conan gets a good hit on Baron. Conan then gets a fantastic strike on Baron. But Baron's still alive and gets a fantastic strike on Conan. Conan's seriously lost. He's dead. Well, that was fun. There's all my money. I gotta swing on over to my uh, tax area real quick. Uh, let's swing on over to the laws of the land. Uh, let's just open up taxes and let's make a tax tax. Minus 16 public opinion. We can come back, but we'll bounce back from that. And uh, that'll go ahead and pay for my gambling. There we go. Now let's do some exploring of the realm. Specifically to the south. The parched land is an uncomfortably warm place. It's full of dry rock and hard sands. Little life survives here, and there is a rumor of demonic whispers here, but no one knows the truth. Let's explore. Walk for a while, but find nothing. So we've discovered three areas. There's Fort Kalak, which is ran by bandits. The Lava Pit. Let's go to the Lava Pit. The Lava Pit is believed to be a gateway to the world of demons, worshipped by a few. Of, by few. The pit is feared by most. The lava burns all that it touches. Sacrifice a peasant. <laughs> you throw a peasant into the pit, he shouts and flails, but as soon as his body is melted into nothing, a jarring sight it is to see something as familiar and strong as flesh and bone be broken into an unrecognizable charred mulch. What happened? Anything happened? Put another in. <laughs> you throw another peasant into the pit, he cries and screams. Soon for a moment, you can swear you hear a thousand screams. Okay. Well, that one seems like it did something. Why are you guys laughing? It could be you. Your presence in my world. In my world, all of you are in my chat in my in this RP, you guys are the peasants, okay? You guys are the peasants. Alright, we got like 2,000 people. You guys are the peasants. Don't ever forget that. You're the peasants. Alright, let's go to the ancient uh let's go to the Fort Kalak. Fort Kalak is an old bandit fortress. That belongs to Gore the Bastard. The fort is garrisoned and they won't give it up without blood or gold. Uh, ask, I'd like to speak to Gore. You shout out that you wish to meet with Gore! Yo, Gore! Come out here, I want to talk! He shouts back, how about no? There's 500 bandits. Fight them. And here's what we do, chat. We send everyone, including the peasants. Okay? We have 300 soldiers, we have two knights, and we have like 2,000 peasants. Okay? We're gonna send in everyone and we will absolutely win. Okay? All of my troops! Everyone! Get in here! Come on! A skirmish is a good way to weaken the enemy with little risk. This isn't a skirmish, this is an invasion. <laughs> Die! Many of you will also die, but it'll be worth it when I get this kingdom. Well, this, this, this peasant zone, trust me. It'll be worth it. Many of you, however, will die. Oh, we lost. Yeah, yeah, there's still 218 men, you guys. Go back in. Get back in there! Oh, wait, they replenished. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> Don't have many men left. Matter of fact, we have no men left. All right, everyone just... Congratulations! You either ran your kingdom into the ground or got killed. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like that autosave would be nothing. I feel like this autosave is my actual old game. Hang on. Let me check. Yeah, it crashed the game out. All right, back in. <laughs> <laughs> this is your guy's fault. Why didn't you try harder? Random races, leave it up to fate, infinite time, no music, 
Continue. Stinky boy. Mustinky. Oh no, that was Mustinny. Whatever. You guys can fill it in. M M Mustinky. You guys, I cannot believe you guys like threw that fight. Tomato. Make your own kingdom name. Dump. Okay, hard again. You're the rule of the kingdom. We're just gonna skip everything and get back in there. All right, this time, we have no idea what we're going into. Did I see locusts? All right, chat, this is, th frankly, it was probably not smart of me to go fighting bandits with the, la the lack of troops I had, okay? The world is full of mysterious wonder. We've got, all right, so we've got stupid plain Skirox, men, demonic necromancers, that's a bad scene, got uh, combat auromancers, cursed tropical gogs, high locust folk, goblins, and demons. Let's leave it up to fate, my, my, my outcome. You have raised the heir to the land and prepared to assume rule when your father grew too old to rule and died. You were not prepared when your father was slain by an assassin in the night. Wait, I thought he died of old age. You invited to the ah, we can skip all of it. Skip it, skip it. Okay, men, 378, lands three, public opinion, 35. Gold, 750. Wow, we really are, we are really poor this time. Let's start exploring immediately. Let's go north. Slaver's Fort, and a black market for bandits. Okay. Technically, it would probably be smart to buy some slave soldiers, because we are... That normal soldiers cost a lot of money. Might be It might be smart to buy, like, a... Like, a... 50 slave soldiers. For now. Okay, just so we can, like, pad our, our, our strength a little bit. Now... Let's go ahead and arrange, change the laws of the land. I want to swing back over to the god, the tax tax, 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 tax is necessary. We're going to need that. And then let's go see what the people are up to today. Let's go to the throne room real quick. All right, back to the throne room. Let's send in some visitors. You're visited by a silent man. He stares at you. Stare back. The man nods and walks off. Next person. Arn Manny says there's visions of fighting mm. for me. Join me. Next. Eastern stick collector who wants to join. He says it's a family tradition. Welcome. Yeah! Jesus, man, calm down. The traveling game master visits your court and invites you to play a popular game called Sudden Death. He says the game costs 20 gold per play and the prize is double your gold. He says the play he plays Western rules. He has 160 gold to bet with. Uh, I got an idea. How about you give me all of your fucking money? <sighs> the man sighs and says, I wonder why, Mustinky. If you can even comprehend just how much you have really taken from me. The man kneels down and says, Please, I beg you, reconsider. No. The man hands you the gold and leaves. Give me the money. We're so poor, chat. We need the money. All right, right now, public opinion is nothing. We need money. The guards bring you a man who is accused of pretending to be a guard and then going around bullying people into giving him gold. Well, explain yourself. A shame I was caught. What happened? I asked the guard. I know he's guilty in my heart of hearts. Execute. Ugh. Kill him. He doesn't even flinch. He's dead. You're visited by a traveling bard goblin. He asks to play a song on his little goblin drums. I'm pretty good at this. I shall play you a little song. What's your name, goblin? The drummer reveals his name to be Srads. Listen to his song. Get out of my court. Strauss the drummer is forcibly removed from your court. Get out. You're visited by a small goblin. He says nothing but the words gold coin. I'm taking the goblin slave. The goblin puts his hands out, waiting to be carried off. Goodbye. Visited by a traveling bard, he asks, 
to show you the old clicking ways. I'm a decent musician. I shall play you a great and lengthy song. What do you mean? The clicker nods and prepares to play for you. How long, how lengthy are we talking? <laughs> how, uh, how lengthy are we talking, man? It's just snapping. This isn't really anything. This is nothing. The clicker looks at you for your reaction. That was bad, and you should feel bad. The clicker begins to frown and slumps out of your court. You are visited by a sickly-looking tavern goer who claims to have come in possession of a magical fruit. He claims it can be fed to soldiers to make them stronger and asks for 10 gold for it. He calls it Blue Tree and claims it to be from a magical farm. Buy it. Immediately buy it. That shit's actually so fucking strong. You are visited by a man who identifies himself as a member of the Camp of Love, a hub of kindness located far to the west at Sogwood. He smiles and nods and greets you before offering some counsel. For some people, today will be the best day of their lives. Millions will be having their first kiss today. Many babies will be taking their first breath. What a wonderful time to be alive. Except for you. He sighs and shouts loudly that he forgives you for your actions, but pleads that you reconsider that you consider kindness over callousness as he is dragged away. Get the fuck out of here! I've got a tax for taxes. I've got a tax where you ta get taxed for how many taxes you have to pay. You think I give a fuck about kindness in my heart? All I'm after is money, all right? And the bottom line. You're visited by a nomadic knight, says my stinky boy. I wish to travel the lands, committing good deeds. Do a quest, go on, quest. You're visited by a traitor who wishes to join your army as his son was killed fighting against the rebels. Allow him to enlist. Visited by a man who says he, was wishing he wishes to join. For sure, for 14 gold, actually, that's fine. You're visited by a caravan merchant who says he has excess barrels of ale. And would like to offer them to you at a discount. We say no to alcohol around here, so I will have to seize that from you, good sir. The man runs for the door, and on his way out, he kicks the shipment of ale down a hill. The bottles smash everywhere, leaving a large river of ale in the streets. Some bottles are salvaged by locals and other mad drunkards drink from the river of sickly and dirty-filled booze. That works out. You guys like that, Chad? Visit by a morbidly obese hunter who claims one of your soldiers bedded his daughter. He's furious and asks for reparations. Yeah, I don't think so, but get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. There's currently no one in the waiting room. Wow, really slow day. I should see my council. Who's in my council? Your head of diplomat, Old Kroll, arrives. Your high general, Goran Pikener, arrives. Okay. Do we seriously not have a spy master, jester, diplomat, or steward? Wow, we are, we are a small council. All right. I just want to see how many people we have. We got to hire some people. Okay, well, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a day. We've explored already, so we're actually just going to end the current year. My sneaky boy, what are your orders? We have rebels that we have to deal with immediately. We have some rebels. We have some people that are fucking seriously harshing the vibes of my kingdom. We're going to skirmish them. And we will send half of my troops. Okay, but we're gonna give them the blue tree fruit to make them more powerful because they need to be safe here. We don't know how many there are because my fucking military sucks. We have no, we have no concept of like numbers. But rebels can't be that. There can't be that many rebels. You men arrive in the rebels' territory and prepare for the battle that will soon take place. As you head forward, you spot a rebel war camp. The enemy quickly emerges and begins the attack. <laughs> Okay, the, our army sucks. Never forget that. Mama Stinky, the clan of cursed tropical dogs have marched on us, but why? I ignore the fight, I don't even want to see it. Kordar, the explorer, the leader of your militia has died. Kordar, no! The new militia leader is Oxen, the drunken fighter five. He's sworn in and vows to protect the realm. Okay. We, uh, we definitely lost that fight, by the way. I don't even need to look at it. Inv they invaded my lands. I have two lands now. But we got money. Okay, so here's what we do. Hire units. Hire peasants. Oh my god. They are so fucking expensive. Why are you guys so expensive? 
Tribal goblins, of course. They're so cheap. Goblin... 72 goblins. Hire the goblins. All right. The people might not like it, chat, but we don't have money, okay? So I hate to break it to everyone. I hate to break it to everyone this early in the deal. Okay. But you guys are all gonna have to fucking... You guys are all gonna have to pay some fucking money, okay? We have a breathing tax now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have a breathing tax now. We have to fucking cling to our existence. Also, I need to find my counsel. Manage staff. I need to hire a spy master right now. Mayruns to the Wyvern, Martin the Annoying, Stapa the Ale Slammer. Mayruns. Hello, I'm Mayruns the Wyvern. 119 gold per year, Mayruns. Hire him, fuck it. I need him. Mayruns is what tells me how many enemies there are in a zone, like before I fight them, so I know if I can re retreat or not, or if I should. I didn't have him last time, and that's why I was in big fucking trouble back there. Don't breathe. Just don't breathe if you don't want to pay the fucking the fine, okay? Chat, we can. Wait, what do you mean the arena's not accepting any bets? Cruel the Youngster has also prohibited betting in the arena as he believes the arena should be purely for entertainment. I'm sorry, Cruel? I'm fucking sorry? D I'm sorry? No, chat, this is not a no money thing. This is a he doesn't believe in gambling thing. I'd like to talk to Cruel the Youngster. Hail and well met. How can I help? Why do you not allow betting? I don't need the money and I think it tanks the sport. Well, I'd like to tax you now. Not a problem. We will arrange for a tax to be paid annually. <laughs> now I feel like I won, but I don't feel like I actually won. What just happened? What do you mean you don't have, you don't need money? I'm, I'm taxing you now. You Now you need money. What? Did I just win? Did I just win this exchange? Whatever. It's a very profitable business. There is no business. Who's the who's the who's the grand champion? Gatar the Northern Rage. He has currently won a single fight, earning him the title of Grand Champion. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything with him. Okay, we need to explore the realm and hope we get really fucking lucky. Eastern Trade Post. You come across upon a small trading post settled on a dune. This is known locally as the Eastern Trading Post. You enter and are greeted. I need to make a trade post to even be able to do anything with these people. I need to, like, build buildings. Fuck. Shit. I gotta, like, go to Kingdom Upgrades and, like, build a trading post. Turn signs. Little mon- I need 25,000 gold to hire a monster like Pokemon, okay? We can't even do that. We need to end the current year. Oh, fuck, I got visitors still. Shit. God damn it. They're all waiting for me in the, in the throne room. Come in, come in. You're visited by a traveling jester who says, I'm something of a comedian. And for the low, low price of absolutely nothing, I will tell you a joke. This better be good. I once visited a seer and robbed him of his powers. I poked his eyes out. Welcome to the team. The Jester says he will work for you for 98 goals and tells you his skill level is 71. Welcome. He's in. There's no one here. Why is there no one at my place? Wait, does everyone hate me? Hello? 71 out of what? I don't know why everyone hates me. Where's like everyone? <laughs> Usually get like 20 people in line. Okay, we are not launching any attacks. Actually, wait, I want to see how many rebels are left. I want some more information. They have nine lands? Yeah, I don't want to actually go. I, I want to retreat. 
So now we can do this. Wow, yeah, their battle score is very high. Yeah, retreat. Don't even bother. Okay, they did, no one attacked me. We're okay. We, I just wanted to see how their battle score was, like how fucking tough they actually were. Okay, so we're gonna, we're okay. Chat, we just need to hang out. This kingdom sucks. Yeah, well, hang on. Where's my kingdom report? How much money am I making off of taxes? Where's that tax for the fucking... All right, hang on. Where the hell, where the hell is my taxes? Wages, laws, expenses, income. You receive 176 gold in rents from your breathing tax. 17 gold in tax from your renting, from your breathing tax. People are angry. Who fucking cares? You gain one gold in interest this turn. 430 interest. 433 gold from your gambling tax. Okay. 43 gold on your tax on gambling law. Of course, naturally, every tax is taxed. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we're seeing extra money out of all these. We make a 10% out of every tax as a tax. Uh, you see 55... 555 gold from general taxes. 375 gold tributes from Seabert, the goblin slaver. Where's my arena tax? Where's my arena tax? There's currently an eight-man tournament being held. I don't give a fuck about that. I want to see whether or not... Oh, public opinion is going down. Uh, visit the throne room. You just got to make him happy. Do whatever it takes to make him happy. But you see a particularly ugly bard who wants to join your army because it seems like it's what everyone else is doing right now. Yes, come in. Come in. No one else is here! Guys! Come in! Come into my community! Come in! See the king! Okay, we got we got money. We can't bet any money because no betting's not allowed because like apparently our entire arena is run by like a pansy. Chat that no no lie. I played on this difficulty before. I made all my money on gambling at the arena. Literally, I would make tens of thousands of dollars every round by just betting on whoever had won more gains. Okay. That arena not being there is a bad fucking scene. That guy's gotta die. All right, the arena, the arena guy has gotta die. Okay. Keep exploring the eastern grasslands. Scorpion fighting pit. Three knights! I just got three knights joining my team. All right, go to the scorpion fighting pit. You pass a small walled pit surrounded by drunk and angry Easterners. As you near the pit, you discover it's a scorpion fighting pit with folk betting on the outcome of the fights. The pit has 136 gold. 10,000. Well, it's got 1,036 gold. Bet on a scorpion fight. Which scorpion do you want to bet on? Fast, deep, south scorpion or old, fair, fast, deep, south? How much do you want to bet on him? $10. We'll break even if he wins. Oh my god, he's gonna win. Oh, he won so easy. I should have bet thousands. I bet again. He didn't even take a hit. We bet on him again. He should still be in it. Wait a minute. Which scorpion do you want to bet on? Armored Oasis Scorpion or Old Common Scorpion? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and bet a hundred bucks on the armored one. Yeah. <laughs> I brought these games, these bets aren't exactly fair, chat. If we see another one that says armored versus a common, we just bet a hundred percent on the armored, okay? And we're gonna need to make all the money this place can offer. Healthy Dunelands or Red Parched Land? All right, we're gonna bet on the healthy and we're gonna bet like 50 gold on them. Oh, the healthy just got crit. Okay, that's why we did not bet all of our money. All right, bet again. Small Drylands, Cursed Oasis, uh, 50 gold. I accidentally bet 500 gold! PLEASE! Why, fat fingers? It's okay, we can make it back. I've still got tons of money. Diseased common scorpion or wounded common scorpion? I don't know, neither seem that good. Bet 50. Oh my god, he didn't get a hit in. I'm losing a lot of money on this. Armored Farad, large Duneland. This actually is not guaranteed. A hundred. Okay, really should have put all my money on Armored there. Note to self. Always put all of your money on Armored Scorpion. Enchanted Farad Scorpion? hundred dollars. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're making it back, baby. Half dead Southern Scorpion, or cursed. Cursed. Ten dollars. Watching two like dying animals 
fucking swing at each other. Healthy Deep South Scorpion, uh, 50. Healthy win, naturally. Wait, no fucking way. Ooh! Fest, Fest is gonna kick this thing's fucking ass, 100. Yep, should have bet more. Should have bet more. We're making it back, chat. We're making all of our money back. Old Dunelands or Black Oasis? Black Oasis, $50. Okay. Okay, they blew it. Come on, just give me Behemoth, Deep South Scorpion, $100. Why do I not bet all of my money? Behemoth and Armored bet everything. Okay, that thing just one-shot that thing for 27 fucking damage. Armored Dunelands is going to beat the diseased one like it's fucking nothing. I'll see you later. 542. All of it. All of our money. All in. Armored Dunelands. 1542. Wait. Oh, I only have 1404. Okay, they, that's how much they have to lose. Okay, 1404. All of it. Everything. Oh, yeah. Yep. Easy money. Easy money. Easy money, chat. Easy money. Easy money. We just got a little bit more to make. Bet on the bet on this one. Easy money. Okay, they lost that. No, nope, they lost it. We're just waiting for something that says cursed so that we can bet against it for all of the money. Yep, easy. Okay, we've made we've made we've lo we've leached all of the money off of this, okay? We've leached all the money this place can give us today. And we'll be back every day because that scorpion pit is literally our lifeline for income, chat. Now, we need to hire more units. We need to hire like another, we need to hire more soldiers, like 20 more soldiers. They are so fucking expensive, but chat, we need to hire people because they're the only thing that are going to keep us from being like attacked and instantly wiped out military settings we need to boost we need to boost militia recruits now five hundred dollars we need larger militia signs fuck we don't have any, we don't have any money for anything in the current year we don't attack anything word reaches you that raghar demon seeker a local troublemaker has formed a bandit gang within your lands they are called gormak and they say they will crush you. I'd like to see you try. Where's all my money? Where's all my money? What happened to all my money? Bank? Bank? Kingdom reports? How much fucking money? Bandits take away all 2,273 gold from me this year. They took, the bandits stole all of my money. Gormak! You son of a bitch! All of my money? Oh my god! Alright. Already minus 10 public opinion. If they look chat, they already ate me. Alright? They already ate me. They already don't like me. Laws of the land. Evil policies. Walking tax. <laughs> Declares. They can't revolt if they're all slaves. <laughs> they can't revolt if they're all slaves. Of the kingdom. They can't revolt if they're all slaves. Do it. <laughs> it was only 72. We have so few people. I just, it was like a fucking tiny, like, village. <laughs> we have, like, no one. Where are you all going? Come on. I don't think they even pay taxes anymore. I think it's over. I see, I think, I think we lost. Why we still have money? Hang on, it's not over. It's not over. We can still recover from this. Okay, we can still recover from this. Let's see 
how people let's see let's see people let's see people coming in you're visited by a traveling bard he asks you to play a song on his little goblin drums uh yeah send him to the fucking dungeons how about that oh i'm really concerned about public relations man your guards have captured an escaped slave and brought him here before you it is uncertain how they escaped uh to the dungeon <laughs> A cloak man arrives and says he's, he claims to be a changeling. He says for a gold, he can change his face. Uh, to the dungeons. Oh no, not again. Yeah, we need more people in the dungeons. You want to know why, chat? Want to know why? Because I can force people to work in my dungeons. Okay. I just need $10,000. Put everyone in the dungeon. Okay. We have to go back to the fucking scorpion pit and keep betting. Okay, because that's our only income. How much money you got? How much money you got? None of these are good bets. I just need a good bet. Large. Okay, accidentally bet neither. Fuck. Bet in a fight. Healthy, healthy wins, easily. $884, bet all the... Yep. That ain't even a fight. Somehow that thing almost won. That scared the shit out of me. Okay. We're just going to ignore... Fucking Gormok. How big is Gormok? That's it, let's just take a look. How many slave soldiers do you wish to send on the skirmish? All 17. All 51. Did my fucking military general quit? Oh my god, he quit. Retreat. I don't want to watch the battle. I don't want to see it. We have one land and 79 men. We, we are not dead yet, though. Okay, now we're dead. <laughs> I wanted to hire a mercenary to kill those fucking- Godril! I want to hire you for one attack, Godril. Okay? You kill Gormok for me, and we square! All right? You go kill him! We've got more power than them! Kill them all! <laughs> They're losing. They're losing. They're losing. They're winning. They're losing. They won! Gorbel, the stunted son of the leader of the Godril, approaches and says, contract complete before bowing and leaving. We are so fucking dead. <laughs> I think I gotta play on normal difficulty, dude. I don't think I can pull off hard yet. It requires, it requires the arena not being fucking pansies. And this time they were pansies. Hang on, there must be more I can do in the laws. There must be something I can do. Taxes. <laughs> Land tax. <laughs> Banking tax. Droplets. Social. Have I already explored? I've not explored yet. Old sandstone ruins? You approach some old sandstone ruins. It's unclear what once stood here, be it a fortress or a town or something else entirely. The only thing that is clear is that time has swallowed it whole and left it little behind. There is a small hut. <clears throat> Go inside. With a man, ma a man with a small, you enter the hut and are met with a strange, looking man with a small blue hat and a long triangular beard and strange pointy eyebrows. He looks at you and grunts, I am awesome, the all-knowing. Ask what you desire and I shall help. Do you really know everything? Well, everything I'm aware of I know, therefore as far as I can tell I know everything. Why are your eyebrows so long? It's a gift I've always been endowed with. Although, it certainly wasn't as fun in my earlier years. 
Oh my god, how am I gonna fucking fit save my life? Who am I? You are the ruler of the dump. I should not need to tell you that yourself. Bye, you're wasting my fucking time. Mystery slaver. You approach a small, unassuming dune of sand and see a small gazebo with several cages underneath, covered in material to obscure what lies inside them. Overlooking the gazebo is a small man who answers to the name the Mystery Slaver. He offers to keep you to keep the slave inside the cage, each cage costing 50 gold each. Give me money. Give me money. Everyone gotta pay me money. You gotta pay me money or we all die. Wait, they killed him. They killed them! The mercenaries did it! They're gone! <laughs> now we just have a normal bandit horde and rebels to deal with. <laughs> it's not over yet, baby! What have you we're, oh, we're being attacked by the clan of cursed tropical gods. We have 53 units. I don't wanna walk. We lost. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> no! Okay, new save game. Random races. Leave it to fate. Infinite time. Same as last time. King. Stinky boy. Mustinky. M. Must. Stinky. Make your own name. It's tomato, but with a smile. Own kingdom name. The dump. Two. Never gonna give it up. Normal. <laughs> I can't do it. Give me normal. Normal ass bitch chat. We look. I was able to do hard on my own time, but like I said, I it hinged exclusively off of gambling. All right, it, it survived my my country survived yearly based off of my trips to the fucking arena that year. <laughs> it was a bad year if I lost. Okay. Okay, we have a community this time of men, barbaric lava mancers, in. Infernal Exo Oysters, Arctic Magi, Eldritch Druids, and Corsair Space Halflings, Goblins, and Demons. Okay, my history this time is that um, I stole the throne with demonic trickery to serve my overlord. You were a courtier of the previous king, but your real allegiance is with the demonic overlord. After communing with him in your dreams, you managed to pull off a plot to have the king and his companions killed, allowing you to rise to the throne and take his place in the name of the Overlord. Your only true goal is to see all kingdoms of the living collapsed. Minus 10 public opinion, but plus 100 demon troops, and the demon mirror is available in the throne room. Skip it. Skip the ceremony. Skip it. I'd like to see my demonic overlord now. Where's my demonic overlord? Dude, look at my fucking kingdom now. This is much nicer than the last time. Where's my where's my mirror? I'd like to talk to the king of the demons. Communicate. You visit the mirror of demons. You see no reflection. Only darkness. Stare at the mirror. You stare into the mirror of demons, but you see no reflection, only darkness. A darkness so deep that in staring at it for a mere moment, you find yourself defeated, feeling as though life is a burden and all things must come to an end. I thought my guy was about to kill himself. Speak to the mirror. You begin to speak to the mirror, and suddenly a strange and de demonic sound fills the airwaves, and the conscious mind of the demon overlord appears in the mirror before you. His power is clear, and you can scarcely hold his gaze, and you feel as though the room is on fire. For what have you summoned me, tomato colon? Smiley face. What happens once we have conquered the lands, my lord? All shall end. Tell me of the demonic horde. The horde is weak and it will not be risen for a great time. I am not concerned, I am eternal. I, have all, I am always rising and falling at the same time. 
How can I help the cause? Destroy all kingdoms and clans, all bandits and goblins. All must be destroyed. All right, but I need more demons. You shall receive no more than I provide. Do not get greedy or you shall be made to suffer. Okay, but I need demons. Give me some demons. Okay, he won't give me any. Fine, we'll figure that out later. All right, chat. Public opinion is down. But money is up. Wait, we don't have an arena. We just have a local fight pit? You went to the local fight pit. Oh, we don't even have. Uh, is this really all we have for like an arena this time? You were greeted by the owner named Uthrod the Mysterious. What do you want? I'm already taxing him, so that's good. Better than a fight. What do we got? Servant, Goblin, Berserker, or Blind Infernal Exo Warrior? <laughs> Blind Infernal Exo Oyster Exo Warrior. Yeah, I'm gonna bet on the fucking Exo Oyster for $100. Uh, looks like the, looks like the Oyster lost to a Servant Goblin. I like to watch these fights play by play. Bet in a fight. Hestum the Untimely 2 or Strom the Bane of Ogres. Well, Hestum has already apparently had a, he already, someone else already died in the Hestum deal. So I'm gonna bet on Strom, Bane of Ogres for a hundred dollars. Hestum gets a fantastic strike on Strom and kills him in one hit. Okay. All right then. Uh... I bet on Heston the Untimely over n unnamed goblin for 500 gold. <laughs> In that case, <laughs> I think I bet on Heston. If goblin wins, the stream's over, by the way. Goblin tries to attack but falls over on his own feet, slightly grazing himself. The cloud cheers for Heston. Goblin swings at Hestum but misses only slightly. Hestum almost loses his footing for a moment but remains standing and he keeps stumbling. He gets a light hit on the goblin and again and again and again. Oh my god, Hestum's fucking tough shit. He's not fighting anymore. Fuck. Arctic Old Magi or infamous Eldritch Druid in training. Uh, bet on the Eldritch Druid in training. He's a druid. Looks like the druid is shooting uh, at the magi. And looks like the magi is just fucking clowning on him. Yeah. Should have bet on the uh, the experience of the old magi by the looks of it, because it looks like the magi is fucking destroying this. Yeah, it's good. I didn't bet much money on it, so it's fine. Barbaric Lava Mancer or Arctic Magi? Lava Mancer. $50. Barbaric Lava Mancer swings, but misses only slightly. Parries. Okay, the Magi is fucking cleaving this Lava Mancer. Oh my fucking god! Fight back! He's dead. Wow, I keep betting on- I gotta bet my- Like, whatever my heart says, bet the opposite. Everything in my body tells me to bet on the infamous Bandit Warlord. I'm gonna bet on Dryland's Nomad for 50. <laughs> I made a big mistake. But did I? I did. But did I? I did. Goblin Warlord or Corsair Space Halfling. These are like the same size. A hundred gold on the Goblin. Goblin Warlord swings. He's swinging. He's getting fantastic strikes. He wins. Okay, I gotta make a lot of money back. Goblin Warlord or Hal Free the Narcissist. Uh... I'm gonna bet on Goblin Warlord for a hundy here. This is how we go bankrupt? No, this is how we make all of our money. I'm gonna bet on the Goblin Warlord and make another 150. Yo, this Goblin is good. Legendary Goblin! The most powerful Goblin of the modern era. For 300 gold, I bet on the Legendary Goblin! One of the most powerful Goblins ever known. He blocks a swift blow. They're missing. Everyone's cheering. The goblin kicks the druid over. There's silence. The goblin strikes him again. He's swinging. The druid is rolling out of the way. He gets a little hit on the goblin. He blocks. He's swinging. Silence. 
in the arena. Time stands still. They're just staring at each other. They're just, they're just staring at each other. The goblin blocks in another attack. He then keeps swinging. Okay, I feel like the goblin's losing somehow, which is really concerning. A good hit. More good hits. The crowd is going crazy for Legendary Goblin. He's not actually legendary. That is just his name. Wow, this is, this is a long fucking fight. He wins. The Goblin wins. Bet on another fight. Sir Undin the Angelic or Normal Goblin. Chat. This is... I know Sir Undin is going to win, but if I bet on him, he's going to lose. Okay. That's like the scary thing. Is that I know he's gonna... If I... I know I'm losing the game right now by doing this. 500 gold on the Angelic Warrior! 500 gold! Sir Undin in the Goblin get caught in a parry. He breaks it and gets a good hit in. He just keeps wailing on this Goblin. They're cheering. Sir Undin the Angelic gets hit by an arrow shot from the crowd. All right, now the goblin's getting hit by bottles from the crowd. Everyone, chat, stop throwing stuff at them. You're ruining my game. <laughs> uh, looks like, okay, Sir Undin uh, cut his head off and killed him. Okay, bet on another fight. Uh, yeah, I'm not bet. Undin got hit by a fucking arrow. I'm betting on Kanan for uh, 300. Yeah, I'm not betting on Undin again. Undin's pretty much done though. Can on the Grave Merger almost lose his footing the moment he arrives? Okay, they get caught in a parry. Gets a light hit. They're kicking each other. All right, Conan is really fucking top heavy. He keeps like tipping over. Fantastic strike on Sir Undin. Yeah, Sir Undin's basically dead. Yeah, Sir Undin loses. So obvious. Bet again. Conan again. Three hundred dollars. Goblin Lord Warlord's gonna lose. Yep, striking the Goblin Warlord. Parries. Conan's kicking his ass. Oh my god. Yep. Easy money, chat. We're, see, this is how you make money in this fucking game. Now, I'm going to... What is this? All right, chat. I'm going to go all in on Infernal Exo Oyster Exo Champion. Because I just feel like there's... I, <laughs> I feel like... Uh, I feel like if this doesn't work out... No, I'm not going to go all in. But I'm going to go mostly in. A thousand gold on the Exo Oyster Exo Champion. A thousand gold! They caught in a parry. He kicks the bandit over. Bandit is really fucking wailing on this Exo Oyster Exo Champion. This is... Oh, he cracks his head! Yeah, keep wailing on him! Yeah! Oh my god, chat. It is a fucking bloodbath. It is a... He is just fucking barraging his head. The Exo Oyster Exo Champion wins. It was barely even a battle. Infernal Exo Oyster or Arctic Young Magi. Infernal sounds like they're more experienced. I'm going to bet on the Infernal. Okay. Infernal is uh, lost in like three moves. That was, was I lost a lot of money on that. I'm gonna bet on Iro the Blood Soaked for a thousand dollars on this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that Iro the Blood Soaked is gonna be Goblin, normal entry level Goblin. Yep, getting a lot of hits on the Goblin. Uh, everyone's cheering. Uh, looks like, looks like. Looks like Iroh is still... Looks like Iroh is getting hit a lot to the head. Oh no, what have I done? Oh no. Iroh? Iroh's getting... Iroh's getting bullied! Everyone, stop throwing stuff at Iroh! Stop! You guys are fucking ruining this for me. Come on, Iroh! Don't let him laugh at you, Iro. Yeah, baby! Fuck you! Fuck you, Go chat! Goblins suck. Bet on another fight. This one's for all the marble. Iro is uh, not winning this one. I hate to break it to you guys. I'm gonna bet uh, 
A thousand on not Iro. Because I'm pretty sure he's basically a corpse right now. Rise is even participating in another fight. Okay, uh, the infernal exo oyster gets shot by an arrow. Who has the bow in the in the crowd? <laughs> Can someone take that? <laughs> Stop! Imagine showing up to like a fucking like arena fight, a gladiator fight, and shooting arrows at the gladiator from the crowd. Iro gets a fantastic. Tr That was a very unfortunate amount of money I just lost. Bet $500 on the Eldritch Champion of Roots. That sounds like a good deal. Eldritch Champion of Roots flicks off cursed Corsair space halflings at arms, attempt to hit him, and returns it with a swift blow. He then strikes the halfling at arms on the head with tremendous force. The entire crowd is on their feet in shock. He killed that guy with one Assassin's Creed 2 parry, Jet. With one Assassin's Creed 2 counter parry. One move instantly killed and all the other guards were like, just gasping exactly how it happened in Assassin's Creed 2, all right? Like the perfect counter into like an instantaneous execution. Everyone's just like, eh, eh? I guess I attack next. Is he still in the fight? Heroic Corsair Space Halfling Warrior or Homeless Soldier? I'm gonna bet on the Halfling Space Warrior. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there- oh yeah, this is nothing to this guy. Homeless Warrior doesn't stand a fucking chance. Oh my god, that was a massacre. That was one of the ugliest fights I've seen so far. Zofa of Dakro or Corsair Space Halfling in Arms? This is like a trick of kind of fight like this. So I like one of them's a named guy with no fucking actual title. It's just a name. So I'm not about to fucking, I'm not about to give a real bet on this. We're just gonna let that go through. Okay, Zofa of Dakro won and he's now fighting a nameless peasant. I'm gonna bet 500 on Dakro, okay? He gets a light hit on the peasant. Everyone's cheering. He gets another hit on the peasant. He's just wailing on this peasant now. The peasant stumbles and falls and hits his head and dots. Okay. We're almost done betting, chat. We've almost made all of the money. Mutilated Arctic Young Magi or Vagrant Barbaric Lava Mancer. If the Arctic Young Magi wins, the mutilated, basically already dead Arctic Magi wins this fucking fight, the stream turns off, chat. All right. Everything. All the money that they got left at the fucking arena. Let's go. Vagrant Lava Mancer. Uh, they get caught in a parry. They're missing. Lava Mancer gets a great hit and knocks him over. He instantly dies and I win all the money. All right, chat, and that is how you make money in this game. You go to the arena and you bet until you have all the money in the realm. And let me explore the north. Slaver's Fort. Brawler Pit. Wait, there's another pit. We can bet more there. Oh, wait, they don't have any money. Okay, well, I'd like to talk to um, the pit owner. We're at the Brawl Pit, an uninviting building rammed full of angry and violent northerners. There's a large pit in the center of the room where two men are violently fighting while the crowd screams and shouts. I'd like to talk to the owner. And uh, I would like you to pay me for this. Tell me about the Brawl Pit. The Brawl Pit has existed for a long time. It used to be used for disputes in the old days. If men from opposing villages or clans had a disagreement, they would come here and fight it out. Nowadays, it's more for sport and fun and rivalries that exist grow within the pits, not outside of them. How do I charge you a tribute to exist? View rivalry records within the black market. What does that mean? Huh. I'd like to watch the battle of the two champions. It's that time again, folks! The battle of the two champions, where the brawler's pit and the fighter's pit play off to see who's the toughest. Fighting for the home team, the brawl pit champion is Farron the Grizzled Brawler, and his opponent from the fighter's pit, Stiglath the Thick Skin Warrior. Oh. They're punching. Oh. They're punching at each other. They're doing a lot of punching. 
And it looks like Stiglaf is totally thrashing Feron. That was like nothing he won. It was like instantaneous. I don't even want to like see the body. I, I was nothing. Let's go to the black market. You arrive at the slave. Oh, this is a slaver's fort. There are many men and slaves here. The fort is guarded by an army of slavers and slave soldiers. All around you, you see rich merchants and petty warlords bargaining for slaves. Punishment wall. The punishment wall is where disobedient slaves are taken and chained. Here they are left to rot until nothing but bones remain as a warning to the other slaves. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna enter and uh, talk to the slave master. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hey. You approach the slave master. He greets you coldly with a gaze that feels almost penetrating. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna tell him to close down. I just want to get a look at his face. We'll be back. We'll be back, chat. Let's go to the black market. You approach the black market gates, but are barred from entering. A guard steps forward and says, Tomato, by orders of Pigsy the crown hater, ruler of the black market, you are not allowed in under any circumstances. Why? Mm. I was not given a reason, my mustinky. I'm sorry. I'm simply following orders. I mm. demand to be let in. You would sooner have to defeat the entire garrison of the market before you got inside. Now do us all a favor and leave. Oh, we'll be seeing each other, friend. We'll be seeing each other real, real soon. Let's go see the throne room. Send in the next visitor. Young man who wishes to join, allow him to enlist. Next. He's got some advice to share for 17 gold. Refuse to hear the advice. I don't want to hear it. Made by an unhappy stick collector who claims his soldiers burned down his farm when confronted about stealing an apple. He says his livelihood is gone and he has nothing. He begs for reparations. <sighs> Sorry, bud. The unhappy stick collector says, well, then I have one thing to say. And then he burps. Word gets out their soldiers can do as they wish with impunity. One public opinion. Minus one. Okay. If it's by a young knight, my stinky boy, I wish to venture out. Go quest for me, my friend. He visited by a strange woodsman who claims one of his soldiers kicked his front door in. He's furious and asks for reparations. Ah, oh, fine. 32 fucking gold. You're visited by an old hedge knight, my stinky boy. I wish to travel the lands, committing good deeds. Sure, do some good deeds. Quest for me, my friend. Bald butcher who claims your soldiers killed one of his chickens. Whatever, six gold is nothing. Join. Come on into my community. You're visited by an ex infernal exo oyster. His, vi his fucking view is unknowable. From the kingdom, the Exo Oyster's kingdom, who seeks refuge with you, having recently come to odds with its ruler. What were you at odds about? I don't know why I suddenly had the urge to slap him. Obviously, this was a mistake. Hey, we found your guy, Infernal Exo Oysters. Send the next guy. Allow him to join. Send the next guy. The guards bring a man who is accused of pretending to be a guard. What did you do? Explain yourself. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Okay, guard. Did he do it? Mustinky, he's guilty. I trust his judgment. Uh oh. Execute him. <laughs> he doesn't even flinch. You're visited by an old famed knight, my stinky boy. I wish to better the realm of Dump 2, never gonna give it up. Questing for you. Man, every one of my knights wants to go quest right now, dude. Go ahead. You're visited by a livid peasant who calls you a fool who could stand to die soon. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say. I appreciate that. I appreciate you coming up and telling me. You're visited by a mad talisman who shouts, I'm alive, but from where did I come? Where do I go when I die? You would know, oh great stinky boy. Tell me. You shall find out. Kill him. Look, chat, public opinion can go fuck itself, okay? Visit by a farmer who says both his own and neighboring land is unprotected and that several bandits have been threatening to raid it. He requests security. Hire a mercenary. <laughs> Just laugh at me. <laughs> you later receive word that the farmland was raided and the mercenary and farmer were both killed. Eh, whatever. They liked me for that. You're visited by a rotund blacksmith who claims one of your soldiers killed his favorite chicken. Serdik. Nothing will bring him back, but reparations are due. Here's 44 gold. You visit by an arctic magi who was mistreated. Why? I was verbally berated all the time. Welcome. Come on in. You visit by a northern guildsman 
who claims one of your soldiers lost money to him in a bet and fled. He wants his due. I don't think so. Wow, these fucking villagers are such little shits, dude. I can't believe that how many, how much they just bitch and whine all the fucking time. They want something to whine about. All right, I'll give them something to whine about. Taxes. Wait, demonic laws. Scribe pulls out demon policies. Oh my God, I can make demonic laws. Taxes, tax, tax, tax. They already don't like me. Fuck them then. All right? Banking tax on. If they don't like me, fuck you. And the current year. My stinky boy, what are your orders? Who's at war with me? The ancestral ones, the blood banner at Overwatch, the rebels. We're not going to attack anyone. My Mustinky were being attacked by rebels. Watch the battle. Oh, my militia have sent 14 troops. We have 400 troops in the base, but that never matters. As you can see. This is why we don't watch invasions from enemies, okay? We're going to have the money to boost up our, our military in like a minute, but there's a reason you don't... For some reason... Oh my god, we're being attacked by fucking everyone. All right, just ignore him. Ignore him. Okay. Today we recruit... Peasants. Well, specifically soldiers. Okay. And hire. Actually, first we gamble. First we gamble, then we recruit. Okay. And then we start taking out fucking everyone. Okay. Trust me. We're gonna be okay. You guys just have to give me a minute. This guy just had to give me one fucking minute. Uh. Okay. First of all, explore the route. I'd like to go to the east. You see an envoy of foreign king whose banner you do not recognize. You approach and explain that you too are ruler of this land and ask him his business. He claims that he is passing through the realm in search of noble knights to fight for his cause. He will hire a single one of your knights if you so permit for 1,500 gold. Yes, yeah, sure. I can buy a new knight for half that. Thanks for the money, fucking idiot. Wow, that was really easy. Knight replaced. Money gained. Next! Eastern Trade Post. Okay, so we have 4,400 gold. I need to go to the fucking local fight pit. Wait a minute, first I want to go to the bank. Expected interest at the end of the year. What if I what if I deposit all of my money? Seven gold. The current interest rate is zero percent per year because of your bank tax and kingdom size. Chad, I'm gonna be honest. Interest in this game is fucking bullshit. Like I have done everything right in the past to make the like the bank work, and it never works. So here's what we'll be doing with the bank: is we'll be raiding it later and destroying it. Okay, the bank never fucking works, ever. It's like broken. Like, actually broken in this game. Okay. Just like real life. Yeah, just like real life. Let's go to the fucking pit. And quickly make some more money. Okay. Surely they've got money. I would like to bet on Eldritch Champion of Roots again. I remember you. Look at how much money they have! Guys, I'm like I said, alright? At least early game. You invest in the... Gambling market, okay? $2,000 on the champ. Let's go. Eldritch Champion of Roots gets an effortless looking hit. Oh my fucking god. Guys, if you ever see the Eldritch Champion of Roots, 100% bet. As power. All in. All the money that they can still afford to give me. Go for it. Kill him. Kill him all. He kicks the Arctic Magi hard, leaving a large footmark. He then swings and misses only slightly. He then strikes him, the Arctic Magi, on the head with tremendous force. The crowd starts screaming in fear because the blood and guts are everywhere. He's dead, and I've just made a lot of money. All right, chat. So now that we got money, okay, we can start dealing with some of the problems in our kingdom. Okay. And first thing we want to do... No, 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 no. We're not going to actually do it. We're just going to hire some guys. We need to hire... We need to hire peasants. Okay. Peasants suck. 
but they are worth it. We just want to hire a bunch of soldiers. Okay. Leave us with very little gold. And we're gonna end the current year. Oh, I got visitors still. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to visit the visitors quick. Trust me, this is going to be worth it. Uh, diplomacy. We got to go to the throne. Next visitor, traveling jester. I'm something of a comedian. And for the low, low price of absolutely nothing, I will tell you a joke. Tell me the joke. How do you confuse a dwarf? Give him two axes and tell him to take his pick. Hey. Hey. Chat clap right now. You're fucking in big trouble, all right? That was a good joke. The jester says thank you and leaves. Thank you. No, thank you. You were visited by an old man who asks you if you could spare a few coins as he, as he and his family had to resort to eating their family dog. I can literally yeah. only spare you four. The old man shouts and lifts his two arms in the air and shouts, yeah, in a deep voice for charging out of the court celebrating. Okay. Guard brings forward a man who was accused of evading taxes. Explain yourself. A shame I was caught to the dungeons. Yeah, evading taxes? Yeah, right. Mad gambler who enters the court with six young men. He asks that you hire them as soldiers as they are finding work on family farm unchallenging. What do you say, 30 gold per, per head? Uh, forcefully enlist all the boys and pay nothing. Thanks. You're visited by an old man who asks if you could spare a few coins because he has to resort to eating his family dog? You know you were here 20 minutes ago, friend. I'll see you in the dungeon. The old man lets out a small sign and looks to the floor, and he is taken away. The boys flee the throne room. A traveling game master uh, visits your court and invites you to play a popular game called Sudden Death. Uh, give me all of your money. <laughs> the man laughs and says, you know what? I'll never let it be said that a ruler does not have a sense of humor before quickly dashing out of the court. He visits by an armed bandit who claims that you outmatch Fenor and wishes to join you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Finally, I can get my hands on a weapon! By farmer. Says a dispute. It needs to be settled. My neighbor's cow escaped onto my land and trampled my crops. He refuses to pay for them. Make the neighbor pay for them. I should talk to them. I, I, oh, yeah, I just remembered, chat. We're actually incredibly powerful. We have a hundred demons. Demons are worth, like, 400 soldiers each. I'm actually not joking. Hang on. I'd like to attack the rebels. I'd like to skirmish them. I'd like to choose for myself who I send. Uh, I'd like to send zero peasants. I'd like to send 280 soldiers, four knights, one bandit, and 104 demons, and one lava man. Now, kill all of them. I shouldn't even send the soldiers from now on. I should send the demons. You guys will see how fucked this gets. But seeing peasants die, you know, that's fine too. He isn't sending us chat. Remember, if you guys die, you don't pay your taxes anymore. Where's your money? I spent it all on soldiers. Who are now dying for me. We need to get rid of all these rebels. Alright, the rebels gotta fuck off. Or they're gonna keep stealing from me all the time. Note chat how when the demons came in, suddenly like 5 to 20 ended up dying at a time at points. We won. The men bask in glory. We're being attacked by the rebels. I'm not surprised. You see word that a group of disgruntled peasants have fled to the hills and formed new bandit gang set to raid and pillage. They call themselves Elite Black Hand. Interesting. Okay. Well, they just stole my money. So, um, yeah, we're going to skip everything this year. Don't remind me. Uh, where are they at? Elite Black Hand bandits, huh? All right, go to them. Uh, I'd like to have some more information on them. They have barely any money. Uh, I'd like to invade them and destroy them. Zero, zero, 104 demons, please. Would you guys like to cause any more problems? In my community? Because I think not. The peasants love me. The public loves me. Everyone heard. 
Now here's the problem is that I'm still very poor. Okay. Public opinion is still very low. I'm gonna hit up my boy, the Demon King. I'm gonna ask him if he wants to hook me up with some more people. Hey, I need more demons. Fuck. Fine, 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 fine. Let's let the people in. Let's see who wants to visit me. You visit my traveling bard who asks to play a song on his vampiric lute. I'm a beginner, I shall play you a little song. Well, what's your name, good sir? His name's Lenin. Go ahead and play it. Play a song. That was so bad my general is considering using your music as a method of dispersing protests. The bard bursts into tears and runs away. Sure, by all means, go ahead and run. A man wishes to fight for me? Well then fight for me. You're approached by a man who claims to be the messenger of Fenor, leader of the bandit horde. He says Fenor's council have observed you and think perhaps you and he are not unlike, and he offers a truce. Accept his truce. I'm now truced with the bandit horde, very good. I think what he saw, chat, was in fact me send a hundred super demons to wipe out 200 men and not one died. I think he probably saw that from over the hills and was like, mm, this guy's a demon? <laughs> they got demons? You, you are visited by a wise man who says he has advice to share, then tell me. There's a hidden city in the south. My advice would be to not search for something best left hidden. Uh, that was very good. You can go now. He say, he yells yes and dances away. Armed bandit who wishes to fight for me for a fee of 100, for 14 gold. <laughs> Join me. More bandits. Uh -huh. They're very strong bandits. A guard comes forward with a man who was accused of robbing folks. Well, explain it. Please. Please don't do this. Guard, explain this. This man is a very well-known criminal. His guilt is known across the land. Uh -oh. Execute him! <laughs> okay, what's next? Traveling game master. Uh, give me all your money. He starts crying. Thanks for the 70 bucks. Small goblin produces a small poorly written sign that says gold coin. Holds out his hand. One coin, please. He begins screaming as my guards take him to a goblin slaver for three dollars. You're visited by a wise man who says he has some advice to share. Listen to his advice. Vassals are the way forward for any kingdom. If you can make someone your vassal instead of having to go to war with them, you'll have an indebted ally who will do as you command. That's very good advice. Next! Armed bandit wishes to join. Allow him to join. Man, my people hate me, huh? Oh yeah, I still need to explore. Okay, we're gonna go look for that super secret kingdom. The lava pit. Sacrifice a peasant. <gasps> I don't think anything happened. Sacrifice another. Ah, uh, nothing happened. Send in one more. Okay, that one, I heard it laugh, so I think it worked. Ancient southern ruins. You preached some old ancient southern ruins. There isn't much left on what once stood here. It looks like nothing, like anything you've seen before. There's nothing there. Fort Kalak. Uh, bandits. I'd like to speak with Gore the Bastard. This guy still doesn't want to talk to me, huh? All right, that's fine. We'll be back. End the current year. Attack the rebels. Invade them. Send no peasants. Send no soldiers. Send no bandits. Chat. My demons are increasing in population. They're growing. Send all the demons. I need to hire a general after all this. You men arrive in the rebels' territory and prepare the battle. That will soon take place. As you spot a rebel village, the enemy emerges and begins battle. <laughs> wow, these are actually pretty strong fucking peasants, dude. What the fuck is up with these peasants? Yo, what the fuck is up with these peasants? <laughs> we lost. But the enemy only has 12 men remaining, so it's not really a loss. You receive word that the mercenary bandits of the black market have set out on their own and formed a new bandit gang. They call themselves the Filthy Greyhand. Interesting. 
Okay, well, I got money to hire more men, so I'm just gonna go ahead and gamble and then hire some more men. This is nothing to me. The local fight pit is gonna have plenty of money for me today, chat. And then we'll go take out those fucking, those fucking guys. Oh, also, I gotta go talk to the demon lord and tell him that his demons suck and I need more of them. Demon lord! Need more demons. You won't give me any more? That's a shame, demon lord, because that means we both lose. But whatever. Who am I betting on? The knight. 500 gold. And don't worry, chat. We're gonna make- we're gonna be fine. Knight's blocking. Looks like the knight's gonna win this one. Yeah, that's nothing. Bad another fight. Infernal exo- uh, Bet on the old magi every time. $500. Old magi's the superior pick, chat. He instantly killed that oyster. Okay. Bet another fight. Blessed Barbaric Lava Mancer, or Homeless Eldritch Druid in Training. Uh, I'd be shocked if the Druid won. The Lava Mancer's swinging. Everyone's cheering for him. He keeps missing. But it looks like he just hit the guy real hard. Yeah, the, the, the Druid lost. Got another fight. Homeless Goblin Warlord or Soldier? Soldier. $500. Yep, he's just fucking beating the shit out of that goblin. Wow, goblins are so weak. Bet on a fight. Pacifist Barbaric Lava Mancer. In this specific situation, though, I'm gonna toss a good amount of money on over towards the goblin. Matter of fact, I'm gonna toss over most of my money over to the goblin. Yeah, he got hit by someone in the crowd. Uh, looks like the goblin is just wailing on him. Doesn't look like the pacifist has done anything yet. He actually just hit the goblin. I thought you were a pacifist! Whatever, it was the last thing he did before he died. I think he, like, realized he was gonna die if he didn't do something. Eldritch Druid in training or a knight? Bet on the knight, $500. Bet on the knight, always bet on the knight. Yep, knight's just wailing on him. Easy. Easy money. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> um... Uh, this is a harder one. Red. A hundred dollars on red! Red's wailing on him bad. Now blue's wailing on him bad. Uh... Red one! Easy. I'm just gonna watch a fight. Let's just see. Yeah, this this was probably worth skipping anyways. Yep. Okay. Infernal. Oh, it's the Exo Champion. That's the rest of my money. All right, put it all on Exo Champion. Exo Oyster, Exo Champion of Death. Okay, the Eldritch Druid is just wailing on him, really, really easily. Oh, there it is. No. Nope. Oh my God, the Exo Druid is seriously beating. Oh my god. Exo Oysters, I should just invade them. They're that weak. Okay, a Berserker or a Warlord? Warlord. 500 gold. That fight was rigged. I mean, it is an Oyster. I mean, it's like an Oyster with hands. Warlord one, okay. It's okay. Oh! Uh, <laughs> god! Now, they, now I know they both suck. Which one's the worst of the two, though? $700 on the oyster. Come on. Heroic Goblin hits the oyster. The Heroic Goblin uh, hits the oyster again. Oh my god. The oyster is the fucking worst. He lost! He lost! $700 on the gladiator. Okay, the bo a bottle got thrown at the magi. It's a clash. They're both extremely even. It's an even fight, chat. It could be anyone's game. Okay, it's not it's it's not the gladiators game, I'll tell you that right now. Oh. Falling from grace. I see I am. Sir Tertullian the Seductive is going to beat the barbarian 100%. 1000 gold. He's named 
There's no fucking way Sir Tertullian the Seductive loses. Fantastic strike on the Lava Mancer. Oh, yeah. This is one of those extremely one-sided fights. Yep, there it is. Uh, I am going to bet the rest of my money, though, on Herm the Raw the Seventh. Uh, I'm gonna bet half of my gold on Herm the Raw, I think. Okay, Herm the Raw so far actually lost. He lost so... Can I bet again? Okay, well, this is a guarantee. This is fine. We're gonna make a lot of money off of this guy. Yeah, the Eldritch Champion of Roots is like an instant win every time. If he's in again, I would bet on him again. The Barbaric Master Lava Mancer has got to be a guaranteed win. Five, 1,500 gold on the Master Lava Mancer! Yes! Yes! Easy. Easy win. Is what I would say if it didn't feel like he was losing looking at these screens so far. But he won, 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 it's fine. Wow, these are both bad. Uh, Arctic Magi, 500. 500. It's okay, chat, we just gotta make some money. It's all gonna be okay. Arctic Magi won. Corsair Space, Arctic Magi again. 300, 300. Don't fall for anything more. We just need some money, we just need to get some funds. Uh, Asmo the Lowborn. Uh, uh, that Arctic Magi's been alive for a while. It's smart to bet on someone else, because that Arctic Magi's getting the shit kicked out of him. And they do carry over, like, pain. Fantastic strikes. They're just exchanging fantastic strikes. They're just like... Oh my god. Can I just get, like, one obvious win? Okay. <laughs> okay. All in on Cloud Toucher the Exalted. <laughs> okay, he won. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I bet on him again for 629 gold, all that's left. Okay. Turns out Cloud Toucher wasn't very strong. He was only strong in comparison to a goblin. I'm out of here. Ch I, I made enough money. All right, we're fine. Matter of fact, I don't even know if we broke even. I think everyone else has been betting and siphoning out all the money. Get me out of here. Get me the fuck out of here. Get me out. Okay. How many... How many troops do I even have? I need to hire more soldiers. Hire 43 soldiers. In the current year. I still need to explore? South. Old ruined demonic totem. An old demonic totem from times long past. It looks as though it was destroyed with some old lost magic that has left it. And the surrounding patch of land completely ruined for centuries. What's Camp Asurek? A small camp of demonic worshippers. They occasionally capture and sacrifice vagrant peasants for demon, for the demon horde and worship them every night with blood rituals. There are 51 demon worshippers here. Enter the camp. Uh, camp Asurek, okay. I'm gonna watch a cultist transformation ritual. Huh. Let's talk to the camp master. A man appears before you who seems to be half demon, half man. He asks what you want from him. How can I better serve our lord? Kill everything and stay alive. Oh wait, do you need any help? No. Okay. Bye. Bye then. The horde is pitiful. Persist we must. We're gonna be okay. This is my zone, the demon zone. Okay. I still have visitors. I need to start like restricting who can actually visit me. The visit by one armed working man to claims one of your soldiers betted his daughter. Fuck you, get out. Unemployed herbalist who comes shouting, one of your soldiers wanted to fight me. I agreed. We had a time and place set up and the coward didn't show. No. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay you for that. Blacksmith who claims one of your soldiers killed one of his chickens. I'll pay three dollars for the chicken, whatever. 
Young man who claims to be a distant cousin of yours. He requests a loan of a thousand gold. Go to the fucking dungeon. How about that? Huh? Yeah, right. We're just going to not launch any attacks. Who the fuck is stealing all of my money? Crow? Quit. Oh, you guys are quitting now. Do I have any money in my bank? I don't have any money in my bank. End the year. No, 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 no. End the year. I don't want to watch the battle. I just need, we just need, we need money to come in. Apparently, we did. Oh, everyone's mobilizing. Oh, we're losing. <laughs> we're losing. Demon Lord! Now's a good time for you to send me some more demons! I need demons now. Buddy, you don't understand. Do not bother me with anything again. We have to invade the rebels now. Raid them. Everyone, get there now! We have 36, we have 36 demons. Go! Everyone, every human will die, but the demons will kill them all and make us some fucking money. Okay, we got a raid to live. The demons are not gonna win, we lost the game. The raid was a success. 440 gold! We made some money back, baby! Okay, chat, here's the deal. Uh, there's no one to revolt against me because we have no one in the realm. So, um, I am going to go ahead and make some changes to the laws. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Pillaging is allowed now. Curfew is a thing now. Breathing tax, active. Walking tax, active. And now we're going to declare the dump to never going to give it up a slave kingdom, which means we've basically given it up. Uh, I basically turned 10 peasants into slaves. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to go to the fight pit. All right. We're gonna do a quick bet on the Eldritch Champion of Roots who cannot lose. Okay. I'm going to bet. All of my money, the Eldritch Champion of Roots never loses. He's actually like unkillable. He instantly killed this guy. Yeah, there's not even a fight there. And we've just made a bunch of money. Now we're gonna go back in. An agitated goblin is gonna lose to the Corsair. I know that for sure. Jesus, you guys gotta accept chat that this is like the life we live until we've recovered, okay? We, this is just how it's gonna be. I need to hire a new diplomat. We have nothing. I'm not hiring a goblin. I'll hire the Silver Skin Crusader. 138 gold per year, sure. Spy Master. Turek the Burning Heart. Join us. Okay, we need those two. We also need a High General. Truvius the Failed Conqueror? I don't think so. Dumble Fawak? The Sun Speaker, sure. I am very funny and I specialize in riddles. Everyone needs a good laugh. You're my... Wait, I don't want a court jester. I meant, I meant high general. <laughs> I want Uth, Uthtar the maniac. Hiram. Okay. Explore the realm. Go south. No, no, go south. Souther. The little totem of Zizrakol. I don't have any peasants to sacrifice. Because I'm, we, we're out of peasants. No one's coming anymore. We're poor. Okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Okay. Follow me here. I'd like to hire. First of all, troop wages. Oh my god, I pay you guys? Jesus. Uh, that's not good. No, we're not selling anything. He doesn't even have slave. I don't know where the slaver went. Because I would go to him right now and be like, hey, hook me up. Could really use one of those. We're going to go to diplomacy. Okay. Bandit horde. I believe we're truced with the bandit horde, which is good. Let's navigate to the independent kingdoms. 
right now we're at war with Gargan. We're gonna offer peace. Send a diplomat to offer peace. You send the emissary off to try to speak to Gargan. Anything could happen, but several things can impact your chances of success. The emissary carries your request for peace and is met with the ruler of Gargan, Sar Hodbert, the Hierophant, who says, to make peace, we ask a small amount of gold. Pay us a weir guild of 600 and peace is yours. What the fuck is a wear guild? One of your advisors informs you a wear guild is a payment of blood money to cover damages to life and limb to another person or country. Will you accept a lesser amount? What is this amount of gold based on? Oh, it's a hundred per reputation? Whatever. It's worth it for not getting attacked. They're the only people after me other than goblins and like deserters and bandits, okay? It's worth it. Now, I need to hire. No, we can't hire anyone. We need the money to pay our fucking soldiers. End the turn. My stinky boy, what are your orders? We're gonna attack the rebels, but only so I can see how many people that they have. Okay. I'm gonna say invade. And we're sending all of my troops. Okay, they're just going in anyways. I thought that we were gonna like check. I thought I had a- Well, actually that demon's doing really good work. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hold up a second here. Yo, we won! We invaded and we won! Oh, we're being attacked. Ignore the battle. Just ignore him. Yo! Yo! It's almost all demons, but we're- But we're still alive! <laughs> Demon Lord, I need you to hook me up with some demons right now. You will shall receive no more than I provide. Well, you don't understand, sir. We have no men. No one wants to move in. We have nothing. I need to see how many rebels. How many men do they fucking have? They have 2,000 fucking men. Okay, the rebels are a bad scene. All right, bandit horde. Not fucking with the bandit horde. Guys, we have to go kill everyone in crew. I'm sorry, we gotta kill the goblins. Like if we have any demons left, they gotta go kill every fucking goblin that exists. We're gonna hire a bunch of men this time. We're gonna kill every goblin. We're gonna raid all their lands. We're gonna destroy them all, okay? We're gonna have to kill every single one of them. But for now, we keep going south. Hmm. You encounter a little wagon carrying various goods. The wagon master, who identifies himself only as the wagon man, recognizes you and bows. You request a trade agreement with you. I agree. Trade with me. Ooh, I found money! Bro! Bro! We really need that money, man! You think anyone will ever actually move back into my town? I'm gonna need to hire some goblins. Goblins are really cheap is the thing, chat. We will use goblins to kill goblins. We will also hire some peasants to increase our men count. And now we will go back to the fight pit and bet <laughs> on the goblin berserker and not the blind bandit for 3,000 gold. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna bet on the blind guy. Okay, the berserker won. The goblin killed him instantly because he was blind. Yeah, I'm not bucking. I'm not betting on the XO Oyster XO champion. You're out of your fucking mind if you think I'm doing that. Easy. Oh my god, so fucking easy. This is the best money I've ever made. This is the best money I've ever fucking made. Eldritch Druid Woodguard or Gargald. The hopelessly lost. I'm betting on the wood guard. Fuck you. Yep. Oh my god. All right, we made a lot of money. Okay. Okay, now we got money. We're gonna act as if everything's cool for another whole round. Okay? Except. Is the stone faced gauntlet the fucking other bandit horde? Oh, the rebels. Ignore them. They're not taking my lands, they're just raiding me, so we're fine. 
But men are leaving. Why are men leaving? Why are men leaving my armies? Huh? Spy report, what's going on? Rebels enlist three new soldiers from their ten lands. Oh my god, I need to know... I need to know my military... I need to know how many fucking demons I got. How do I check that? I need to know how many demons I have in this pack. How do I know how many demons I have, chat? Gee, I wonder why? There was a troops report. Right, kingdom reports, troop report. Demons, we have 48. The demons are pretty much most of our community now, chat is demons. And that's good, because we're about to go and wipe out the goblins with them. Finding a lot of totems. All right, we failed everything else. All right, what are these? You approach the totem of Zyserak. Uh, it has a horrible demonic aura around it that reddens the nearby sky. Look, chat, here's the plan. All right, everyone's slaves right now, but I'm eventually going to actually free them all. And then everyone will believe me a hero, okay? It's all part of my plan. Your head general, Uthar the Maniac, approaches you and requests his employment with you ends as he's been feeling sick lately. Yeah, I don't think so, Uthar. You're staying right there. Traveling Game Master, give me all of your money. No, 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 give me your gold. 110 bucks, easy money. Your visit by a hedge knight who says he has returned from his quest for you. He killed a pair of rebels who are burning the dump to never gonna give it up flag. Thank you. Welcome back to my army. You guys have captured an escaped slave. Look, dude, I'm sorry. With all the help we can get, you gotta get back out there. This is by a young man who claims to be a distant cousin of yours. Back to the dungeon. To the dungeon. Blacksmith who says he's better designed for your helmet. Offered your guards, soldiers, and nobles. He offers to sell you the design for 200 gold. Look at the design. What is that? Whatever. Buy it. It's a good design. Coin flip game. He tells you it will cost you 10 coins per play. I don't play games. I'll take your money. Give me all your money. Oh, my. Oh, they don't like that. Oh, the public opinion's gone down. Demon Lord, I need more demons. He won't give me any more demons. All right. We got to go to the goblin zone right now. We have to kill every goblin in crew. Invade them. No, no, no. I choose for myself what troops I'm sending. Zero, zero. Every demon. <laughs> no one else. <laughs> Take them all. Take their lands. Let them invade. Slave soldiers rising up against me to declare a slave revolt. Oh, really? Oh, you're gonna slave revolt on me now. We'll see how that plays out for you, motherfucker. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if that really is having a very good. Why did I just waste all my explore chances? Does anyone want to actually see me or is everyone revolting now? General Uthar, the maniac approaches you, requested deployment, and I don't think that's gonna be fucking happening, Uthar. You are working. He fled. He fled? From me? Small goblin produces a small, poorly written sign that says gold coin. Sorry, but I'm sorry. Allow the barbaric lava mancer into my community, except the Arctic Magi. Anyone left? Except the Corsair Halfling, we're accepting everyone. <laughs> everyone can join my army. Please come in. Hail and well met. My aim is to make you laugh hysterically with a handwritten joke. Tell me, what do you call someone who loves magical beasts? A Griff fan. Send her to the fucking <sighs> Send her to the dungeons right now. You visit my man who says his son is set to be executed in your prison, and he begs you to free him and offers you a hundred gold to do so. Sure, for a hundred dollars. You're visited by a goblin communicator who wishes to train you, your diplomat, sorry, and the silver-skinned crusader on how to speak to goblins, allowing you to communicate with crew in Iraq. Uh, I see. Sure, let's talk to the goblins. I'll pay you the money for it. My, go my communicator can now speak goblin. Now let me see if uh, the demon lord has any demons for me. Fuck, he won't give me any more demons yet. All right, we'll deal with, uh, we'll do some diplomacy. Let's talk to Crew. All right. We can't even, dude, they don't even fucking care. 
all I can do with this is basically make peace with them. They don't even understand, like, becoming my... Uh, whatever. Stone-faced gauntlet. 300... All right, these guys gotta fucking die. Those guys are gonna have to die. So what's the slave revolt looking like? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're gonna see you... I'll see you guys in about 30 seconds, bud. Yeah, let's see how that played out for you, assholes. I don't think I'll be sending anyone but my 78 demons. Thank you very much. You guys have a good day, by the way. You guys have a good day. Yeah. Yeah, have a good time, though. How did your rebellion go? Thanks for the money. Chat, I don't want to tell you we're making a comeback. <laughs> I don't want to say we're making a comeback. But I am going to say, uh, I'm going to save my game real quick because I have no idea how this is going to play out. And frankly, if this doesn't play out well, I'm going to be really sad. But I am going to say now's a good time to raid the bank. How many soldiers do you wish to send? None, none, 118 demons. None, none, none. Yes, now please destroy the entire bank. <laughs> Why were there goblins in the bank? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Kill them all. Kill them all! All the money in the bank! Public opinion, though? It can't go any lower than minus 100, baby! Give me the money! See? Look at how much money we just made! Look, chat, we're gonna bring it back. I promise, as soon as I have stabilized my community, I will free you all from your servitude and allow you, you know, to live your lives again. But right now, that's not happening. We're under attack from all sides. Think of it as a prolonged draft, you know? It'll allow everyone into the community. Think of it like a prolonged draft. Guard brings forward a man who's accused of insulting the crown killer. <laughs> Visited by a farmer who says a dispute needs to be settled with his neighbor. Send him to the dungeon. Guard uh, accused of robbing from the poor to the dungeon. Yep. Guard arrives to your court and uh, steal all of his money. Man, this is easy. Man, being a fucking evil villain rip sent to the dungeon. Uh, just give me all your money. <clears throat> yeah, give me all your money. Fine, I'll let you leave, but only this one time. Now let me just ask a demon lord if he's ready to, like, give me more demons. Demon lord? More demons. Fuck. He's only- my demons are growing. The number is growing. Now we go to the little arena. Wait, it's bigger! Yo, this used to be a pit! Yo, chat! Chat! Our place is growing! We are not failures. Our kingdom is getting more powerful. Bet in a fight. Uh, Eldritch Champion of Roots is making this one real easy for me. $7,000 on the Eldritch Champion of Roots. Yep. Oh my fucking god. He's like an ascended god. What the fuck? Okay, well, let's talk to Uthrod the Mysterious. Uh, no, there's no need to do anything. Anything... There. Uh, Sven the Night Slayer, uh, he has won a single match earning the title of Grand Champion. I'd like to watch him fight real quick. Against Aelin the Almost Dead. He killed him instantly. It's not a shock, really. That We're gonna keep observing him, see how much stronger he gets. Now, I'd like to go to Kingdom Upgrades. Because it's about time we invest in some things. Okay? I would like... Oh, chat, if we get 25k, we can make the demon horde stronger. I'm sorry, chat, we gotta, we gotta save up for that. Now, I am gonna swing back on over to Crute and invade them. And I will be sending 118 demons to kill them all. If you would please, send... Yep, there it is. <laughs> demon horde, baby! No, I don't want to watch that battle. I don't, need, I don't want to watch these battles. Look at the money. All right, chat. In another turn, we're going to be able to make the demon horde stronger than ever before. Okay? You find a wandering group of 36 masterless soldiers. Hire them. We have enough money now, we can actually start doing some good stuff. I just need peasants. Which means I'd have to free the slaves. Uh, having peasants would require me to... All right, fine, chat. We have enough money now that I don't really need to be running 
a slave society anymore, okay? I hereby, out of the kindness of my heart, declare that you slaves are all free. Really, you weren't really slaves because we had nothing to... None of the civilians here were slaves. We had nothing to do. There's no, we don't have any interior... <laughs> we, didn't, we don't have anything going on. We just loot and raid. Like, we didn't have anything. But whatever. They're all free now. Free kingdom. Ten public opinion. Oh, just ten? <laughs> nah, you guys are free. You guys are free. You good. You good. But I don't want to... I didn't want to have to tell you this. But, um... I didn't free you because I, I wanted to. I freed you because I need peasants to sacrifice. And if I free you, eventually more peasants will come by again. Okay? I promise. People are going to come by soon. Anyone in here want to see me? Wise man who says he has advice to share. I don't want to hear any fucking advice. Allow him to quest. Go quest. Uh, dungeons with him. Dungeons with him. Dungeons with him. Chat, we're making a prison society, okay? And here's how it's going to work. Kingdom upgrades. Uh, income. And we're going to make a prison labor yard. Which allows prisoners to make us money. And how many prisoners do we have right now? Let's explore the realm. No, let's actually explore our other buildings. Prison. Uh, currently, how many prisoners do I have? 306. So they're going to start making me money. Okay. And while that's happening, we're going to keep uh, invading Crute with exclusively demons. There's many a demons in this fucking army. Take them! <laughs> More prisoners than people. I mean, that's going to change. When people hear that I, like, ridded uh, the land of goblins, you know, people are going to start really respecting me. It's only a matter of time. We keep going south. We need to find the secret realm. South. Farther. You find a wandering group of seven masterless soldiers. Hire them. Keep going. Strange pillar. You approach some kind of strange pillar. No one can figure out what it is or who it was made by. It doesn't particularly look like anything you've seen before. What is this Arasuk settlement? You come across a strange settlement nested among the red sands of the oasis. There are 350 people living here, and the settlement seems somewhat empty with barely a person on the streets. Recruit the villagers. Wow, that was easy. Okay. That was really easy. Now I've got people. Demonic landmark. You approach what seems to be a demonic landmark of some sort. You cannot tell if it's a warning sign or some kind of signal. Well, I can't believe we hired those people that fucking easily. Well, uh, to the totems. Sacrifice them. <laughs> Send a peasant forward and cut them down, leaving his blood to run into the soil beneath the totem. The totem is slightly more red in color. The deed is done. Okay. Uh, now to the totem of Zixorliak. Sacrifice another. <laughs> We must soak the totems. Sacrifice another. The deed is done. Four sacrifices. The totems are sacrificed. Well, the, the, the sacrifices are sacrificed. Let's go. Okay. Now, chat, we end our turn. We continue to wipe out the goblins. Almost just sent all the peasants instead of my hundred and six. Chat, the demon horde? Is getting there, baby. Okay. The demon horde is getting there. 174 of them. Goblins are friends? No, they're dead. I don't want to watch the battle. I don't need to see that. All I need to see is my money. Okay. Keep traveling southward. Farther south still. All this stuff is abandoned. It's all destroyed. Demons must have come this way. Statues. Everything's destroyed. We just rest another turn. We just need we just need to invade these goblins. Wipe them out once and for all. With our 190 demons. We're getting more every fucking turn. It's gonna be so easy, chat. Every demon. Do they grow based on battles? I have no idea what's making these goblins grow. All I know is that I'm invading as fast as people are invading me. We just need to keep moving until all the goblins are dead. We're going to keep moving. Invade. I think all of our peasants quit. 241 demons. 
More! More! We haven't lost any demons in a long fucking time! Is that all of them? You have slaughtered the defenders of the goblin capital. The men rush into the empty keep to find a lone goblin king laughing and clapping. He is surrounded by your guards and seemingly unaware of the danger. He laughs and applauds. One of your men cuts him down. King Ulak is dead. Congratulations, my stinky boy. The revived crew are no more. Many praise their removal from the fray. Look at the money. Note the money. Note the men. All right, chat. It's time to start buying upgrades. Other. Now, uh, here's what I'm gonna do immediately. Okay. We need to rest one more round, because I need to go destroy uh, the goblins uh, here as well. They all need to die. All the goblins have to die, and right now we have 261 demons. We keep moving. No, 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 not the arena yet. We're not using the arena again for a little bit. All I need right now is to bloat my... Wow, that was pathetic. Uh, was that all of them? What just happened? Whatever. Kingdom upgrades. Other buildings. Demonic totem. The demonic influence grows. Now I would like to talk to my king, my ruler, in the throne room. My ruler, my king. How can I help the cause? They still want us to destroy everything. I need more demons. Okay, they still won't give me more demons. Okay, one more round. We're wiping out the second goblin nation. Okay, just real quick. 351 demons. I'd like to see most nations try to fight me now. Like, we have just power bloated. Now we can start being a good leader again and being a nice guy, okay? Chat, we're bloating in power. These guys don't cost anything. Demon addicted. Not one has died, chat. Let's visit the ruins of the bank. There's nothing there, what a surprise. Not one demon has died in a thousand years. Free our air. <sighs> and the pillaging law. And the breathing law. And the walking tax. Happy chat? Of course you're not. Look at you at the top. You're never fucking happy. You'll never be happy. You'll never be happy. As you, you approach a strange carving into the side of a large rock formation. It appears to be a demonic in origin. Look closer at the carving. Look closer at the red emblem carved into the rock. It looks like a seed growing from the ground. Ignore it. Now then, do we have any peasants? Do we have any peasants? We have no peasants. Why do we have no peasants? Uh, higher units. Uh, higher peasants. Higher, uh... 300 of them. Excellent. Now, uh, come with me, peasants. I have work for you. One of you? Did that just destroy it? I pressed the wrong fucking button. Sacrifice a pe Well, there goes one of my demonic, uh, totems for making uh, the demons oh. more powerful. Oops. Ugh. Whatever. We uh, have all the others still. Oh. We'll kill all the others. The demon lord probably won't even notice. How much more fucking, how many more goblins could they possibly fucking have? Look, 437 demons chat. What chance do they have now? This is sad. You have slaughtered the defenders of the goblin capital. The men rush in to find several surly creatures awaiting them. They're all dead. Whoa! Everyone from the nation has hailed me as their new king! What if a troop steps forward with a small piece of parchment? I don't want to watch that fight. 1600 units! <laughs> welcome, welcome, my people. Welcome to my kingdom. I'm sure you, you, you once believed that I was an evil ruler, but things have changed and times have changed. I am a much better man than I once was. We're buying more whips for the uh, yeah, double income from prisoners. Okay, cool. 
Okay, so now we got like steel whips for the prisoners. How many prisoners do we got right now? How many prisoners we got? How many prisoners we got? 490? Alright, I'm gonna order- You two! You two over there, I pointed two of you in the chat. Two of you. You two, fight to the death for me! Falk the murderer and Sir Hutter the thief kill each other for my amusement, I am the king! Falk won. Wow. That was epic. Alright, well, I'm gonna change the prison rules now. Ah, uh, allow overzealous arrests. Yeah, throw them all in jail. We make money off of these fucking people. Look at how much money- Watch. Alright, chat. You might think that's bullshit. Okay. Watch this. Kingdom reports. Income. Prisoners earn me 420, 478 gold per turn. Okay. Whoa, dude. Torek the Goblin Slaver is making me almost most- uh, Literally a majority of my money. What the hell's the deal? Hang on, I want to talk to that guy. Where's Patoric? He's got 97 goblins. You want to talk? Why are you why are you paying me so much? I should probably get him some bodyguards so he doesn't get assassinated by goblins. Uh, that's like other, right? Goblin Slaver's personal bodyguard. He's less likely to be killed now. Uh, let's do it one more time. Ten times less likely to be killed. Alright, because he makes us a lot of money and the more goblins we kill, the more money he's going to make us. Okay, so, you guys remember those rebels? That, uh, wow, there are a lot of bandits that do not like me. Are these all bandits that have risen as a result of my bullshit? Because I remember there being this many bandits before. Are these all guys that have arrived after my shit happened? Whatever, we're going to have to go to the rebels. Uh, no, I want to kill the stone-faced gauntlet first. Those guys are new. Uh, we're gonna send, uh, exclusively the demons. We have 487 of them. We're gonna put them to work. They are our military. Alright? That's just how it is. Go. Kill them all. Let the blood soak the fields. Death. 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 Hear the sounds that a strange city-state have created strange steel structures and levitated with them some kind of fire magic, sending them blasting off to the heavens, never to be seen again. Well, we never saw it to begin with, so that means nothing to me. Can't see something that I've never seen. Did my music stop? Hello? RuneScape? There you are, thank god. I was worried. I need money. You know how I used to make all my money? Taxing people. You guys aren't even happy! Look at your public op opinion! What's the point of why do I try so hard if you don't care? I'm gonna invade the Sun Free Society with demons. 557 of them, invade them. Make some money. I know these guys got money. Kill them. Take them. It's just a bunch of young magi. I'm killing younglings. Take them all. Man, these demons are scary, man. What the fuck? How much money I make from that? No, don't watch invasions. Nah, like 5,000. Okay, let's go bet. Wait, the arena's a real arena now. Yo, the arena's getting pretty cool now, man. This guy's been trying pretty hard. I bet on the Barbaric Master Lava Mancer. $9,056. Chat, here's the thing. If I lose, I'm gonna destroy the arena. Okay, it looks like I won, which is good for them. Because if I hadn't, I would've destroyed the arena. Okay, it looks like the Exo Oyster should definitely win just by name alone. Yeah, like, the, the end result of this is that if I lose, I kill them all. Wow, okay, yeah, he won. All right, cool. Excellent. I'm gonna explore the realm. Let's go west. Monfort Mine... Eric, didn't we destroy that place? There's six men. You come to Montfort Mine, which is currently being mined by the Harlaw Mining Company. Notice that some of the mine workers seem less than free, and notice the banners of the Eric. 
some goblins who look like tribal warriors are, guide, are guarding the mine shafts. I'm gonna send my people to attack six of their goblins. Yeah, I'm gonna send my 580 demons to kill their goblins. I have to send some of these fucking, like, randoms out, dude. I, sh I don't know those people. Yeah, wow, that was a real shocker. We won. So now we own the mine. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 You thought I was freeing you. Oh, no, no, no. You misunderstood. No, no, no. You misunderstood. You misunderstood. I wasn't freeing you guys from them. I was freeing them. I was freeing you so you could work for me. So I guess I'll have to kill you all now. Demons are pretty strong. These are humans too? I care not. I care not. The miners are all dead. Now I just need to hire some peasants and tell them to work at the mine for me, chat. How many peasants we got? Hire peasants. I need 663 peasants. All of them. Every peasant that can that can carry a, a mining pick. Come with me to the Montfort mine. Get to work. I push him in the mine. I then collapse the mine on them. What's the magic theater? You approach the magic theater, a strange place run by an eccentric wizard. There are numerous performances you can watch for varying fees. As you approach the eccentric mage, hisses at you and says he does not like speaking to people. He's gonna regret doing that. But whatever. For now, it doesn't matter. Does anyone at the? Does anyone want to meet me? Anyone want? Anyone want to meet the king? Visit by an old man who wishes who wishes to see the king before he dies. He wants to see me before he dies. Good, he's seen me. Now kill him. Holy shit, dude. That's fucking metal. Are you fucking kidding me? That is that is some wild shit there. Ugh. The old man looks shocked, but seemed amused when he realizes what's happening. He cracks a smile a second before he's cut down. <laughs> You've seen! You're visited by a loud laborer who wishes to join, allow him. Blacksmith who says he has a better design for your hats. What's his design look like? That looks the same as last time. Views his better design. Blacksmith, uh, wait, this is a guy, look, collecting gold for the slum folk of the black market. If you can spare some gold, I have one gold. Well, it all helps, I suppose. I thought a stinky boy might be able to spare more, but... There you go, bye. You'd think that, wouldn't you, friend? <laughs> I agree. One would believe that I have lots of money. You'd be wrong. I, in fact, have no money. Black Market has barred you from entering, by the way. Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Where do they live again? There they are. Hey, I'm coming in. You order the attack to be done. Within moments, the envoy of the market, King Pigsy the Crown Hater, arrives. He asks you to cease his attack to prevent needless bloodshed. Nah, you guys sort of pissed me off. You guys sort of peed me off, man. So I'm going to go ahead and send my demons in there. You really should have let me in, by the way. This really, this could have all been avoided if you had just opened the door. <laughs> huh, some of them are actually killing my demons. Wouldn't you, couldn't you imagine that? Kick back, chat. This is going to be a long, bloody battle. Kick back. Enjoy yourself. We're going to be here for like 40 fucking minutes while the war plays out. It's going to be a long, long war. You're welcome, my lord. Man, look at this. Look at how many are fucking dying. We've lost like maybe 20, like maybe like 30 demons max. This is fucked. It never ends. This is the, honestly the weakest part of the game is that you can't skip battles, so we just have to listen to these guys die for like 
20 minutes. Like, the bigger the faction, the longer these fucking fights take. And it's like... It's like, honestly, they need to add a skip fight sound thing. Like, just skip the fight. Because we're going to be here for a little bit. Oh my god, how many people were in the black market? <laughs> a thousand. We lost 50 demons. So now that they're all dead... Wait, what? I'm sorry? Attack the black market. Attack. How many of you are still in there? We're attacking again. Kill him. I'm not. Fuck you, man. Another minute of battle, so the cycle continues. This is fucking ridiculous. How many people are in here? It's like a clown car. It's still fucking going. All right. Jesus. They're dead. The black market is gone. The place is in my whim. Your men hoist up the flag of the dump too. Never going to give it up and make your rule official. Now return to the market and decide how you will deal with it. Or you could leave it to uncertainty. It's my black market now. I'm going to put a trade levy on it for starters. I'm going to give a speech to the people here. I'm going to give it myself. An ominous speech. You stand there and give a speech ominously talking about the market as though it lies within the jaws of a sleeping dragon. You talk of great wealth and poverty and mention many cryptic things. Many of the crowd are confused. Some think you are a fool. Minus two public opinion. Tour the black market. You arrange for a tour of the black market and the local guide bows to you and agrees to show you the main districts of the market. He gestures for you to follow him as he heads for the slums. You are in the slums. This place is a place of poverty and struggle and very little more. You follow him to a district facing the sea filled with strange ships and even stranger people. We enter Dockrow, the port of black market. We even once and even once home to a tavern until a pirate brawl saw an end to it. There are some businesses of repute here and oft a strange sailor from far away. You are taken to a place called Gildro, the fanciest district here, filled with guilds and halls. I suppose a place that a stinky boy like yourself would find much to do it. Oh, and they keep the treasury here. The treasury, huh? We are taken to the fighter's pit. The lovely fighter's pit. Finally, you move to the central district. Welcome to the heart of the market. Even I have a small office here, which you can visit if you want more comprehensive tours of the places. Here's the market's headquarters, as well as a large cluster of market stalls. The guide bows to you. So this is just, so that is a quick tour of all the districts. Best of luck with your new black market. Do us proud. Yes. I would like to go to Dark Row. Wow, this place is fucking gargantuan, man. Visit the statue of Pigsy the Crown Hater. All right, there's a, there's the leader of black market before I'm, I was the leader. That's gone now, people start cheering. Let's go to Mag Soup Kitchen. A uh, nice, a uh, lovely kitchen. Uh, you look at the building and immediately you're met with a smell that turns your stomach. A large and ugly lady is stirring a pot while several unlucky patrons fill their bowls with slop and begin eating. I'd like to talk to Mag. Whoa! You approach the woman known as Mag and quickly notice the worst smell is not the food but her. She has a dirty white hat slapped on the top of her. Greasy curly hair. Her face is lumpy and covered in warts. And you cannot tell where her chin ends and her neck begins. She looks blankly at you and speaks, What do you want? This food looks delicious. Don't try and flatter me or I'll spit at you. If anyone else insults me at all in this whole place, I destroy the entirety of Black Market. Okay, so that's like one. Hall of Goblin Heroes. You enter a small dingy house marked as the Hall of Goblin Heroes, where you approach Red Goblin, who introduced himself as Zox, an ex-pirate and now proprietor of these halls. Pay for a tour of the hall. Oh, wonderful! Prepare your mind to be greatly enriched by goblin history. Uh-huh. Skip, 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 
skip, skip, skip, skip. Oh my god. And thus concludes the tour. That's two strikes. One more and I'm out of here. Forever. As in this whole place is out of here. As in destroyed. You pass in the black road and see a strange mist funnel out from the alleyway and fill the streets, blocking them with a thick fog. Hmm. A small house with a dark X painted across it. What's this? You enter a dark, dank house and find a horribly aged old man with a huge red and black eyes that make him seem sinisterly inhuman. He recognizes you as a demon king and offers you summon... Offers to summon you a demon. Summon a demon. Summon me a demon! He summons... He chants some words that have not been said in centuries in several long, dead languages. And before you know it, you are standing outside the hut. To the left of you, a demonic, towering beast stands. And from behind the hut, a cloak is thrown over the beast to hide its horrific form from the locals to prevent panic. Behold, a demon now serves you. One demon? One whole demon? One demon. Enter the sewers. You enter the small, dingy sewers of the black market, said to have once been a small dungeon network. It now funnels the waste of the black market and is littered with skulls, bones, and urine. Rat racing, then. You spot a group of sewer scum betting on their small amounts of gold on rat races. Strange, simple, but it looks like fun. There are two rats ready to race. One painted red and another painted blue. Which do you bet? Red. Yep! Yeah, bet on red again. Okay, that's four strikes. We only have four strikes now. Wait, wait, I just saw local mute. I'm in the three toes gang. Better not be fussing for a fight. Ancient door? You approach a huge, towering, and magnificent ancient door nested am among the sewer walls. It seems far more advanced than all that surrounds it, and a great deal older than anything you've seen. The door has what seems like combination on the front of it. Combination lock. You look at the combination, you have to enter a five number long answer. That was four numbers. I don't know why I thought that was gonna work. Didn't work. God damn it! Shit! Son of a bitch! What's the dirt den? You enter the dirt den. A small drinking hole nested in the sewer halls. I see. I'd like to talk to the bartender of this disgusting place. Uh, you approach the bartender, a mutant named Pargo. He says, hello, I am Pargo. He then stares at you for a while and says, hello, I am Pargo. Who are you? I am Pargo. Hello. What do you know about the black market? Black market? I don't know, but I am Pargo. Where do you get your ale? I trade arms. I'm an arms merchant. I don't know for what the above grounders want with, shred with shedded human mutant arms, but they seem to enjoy them. Some merchants even use them as substitute meat when they run out of good stuff. How did your tavern come to be, Pargo? I am Pargo, and my father, Briargo, sold ale here, so now so do I. I'd like green junk, please. I spilt the drink all over myself. People are laughing at me. Go to the slums. Hire some scum. 126 scum. Hire them. Join my army. Donate gold to the slum. Everyone will see that I am a nice man. A hundred gold for ye? Now everyone knows I'm a good guy. Central District? Wow, this place is fucking huge. Ask if anyone will join me. Wow, that was easy. Wow, this is Whoa! This place is like such easy money! What's a century clock? You visit the celebration clock. A small post here says how long it will be until the next black market century festival. You peer closely at the clock. Next celebration will be in 16 turns. Yo, I can't destroy that place. It's incredible. Brawler's pit. Bet on a fight. How much money this got? How much? Uh, uh, the frail. No, we're going to do tall the brawl pit bandit. Here. 
And we're gonna bet uh, all the money that they'll take. There's no way Tall loses. No fucking way. A million goddamn years. Yep. Obvious. Alright, now uh, I'll catch you guys all later. You order your men to attack the pit. The pit owner flees and locals are dismayed as your men tear the place apart and soon there's nothing but ruin. We don't need that pit. Alright, we don't need it. We already have pits. Now let's go to that slaver pit. There's 2,000 men here. I'll see you all in hell. I'm gonna like go to the bathroom. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be right back. This is gonna take like 20 fucking minutes. We probably aren't even at 1,000 yet, chat. I might as well go through some notifications. I literally can't. Oh. Come on. They're still alive, though. You thought I. You thought I would. You must have thought that we were done. You must have thought that was it. That ain't it. Yeah, might as well burn through some notifications. If that would be if this thing ever saved my notifications! It doesn't! Notifications are totally fucking broken today. Oh my god. I like a headache. I don't know if this game is giving me a headache or not, though. Like a headache. My head! I want to see these guys... Tomato Streamlabs Gaming. I'm gonna have to wrap up, dude. Like, my head is killing me all of a sudden. Like, half an hour ago, my head just started splitting. I, I, can't, I can't... I can't... Shut up! I can't do it anymore! Oh, wait, it just ended. No, no, it didn't. No, I give up. I can't. It just... Did the game just crash? No, it's still gone. No, stream's over. I'll be back tomorrow. I gotta, I gotta go. My head is fucking killing me. I don't know why. I wanted to keep going for a bit, but... Yeah, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I, my, head, my head right now, chat. Ain't doing it. Sorry. Hope you guys had fun for what was there. Uh... Notifications are fucked. I'm gonna find where they are or what happened to them and I'll try to get through them tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow at four. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Um, I have a game that I want to do, but I don't know if it's gonna be out yet. It might be in the, it might not come out till Saturday, but there is something I want to do. But yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep streaming. My head's fucking like killing me. So uh, I'm out. Uh, I will send you guys. Who's live? Jeremiah's playing long drive right now. Oh, fucking let's raid German. He's playing long drive. Maybe maybe you guys can give him some tips on how to actually, uh, you know, pull it. Maybe, maybe you guys can teach him about the camera thing. That'd be fun. All right. Go out. Go out with German. I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, 4 p.m. All right. See you.